Good evening, Tartaria Australia Autodidactic. We have a special guest in the house tonight, Mr. Guy Anderson. Welcome to Tartaria Australia. Thank you for having me. Now, for you guys who are on all the channels out there, you would have seen this um, book floating around, all of our feeds, and Guy is the author of it. And um, now, Guy, its title is Tesla and the Cabbage Patch Kids. Have I got that right? You have, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I am so excited because I've been seeing this book. I've seen I've been seeing your book flying through my feeds all over the place, and I've been like, "That's cool, man." Someone's got some, something out there. So. Excellent, and welcome to the show. So, uh, Campbell, do you have anything to say before I ask Guy no. to jump in there and tell us my story? <laughs> Good title, man. I, I, I Thank did, you. Did, um, I went to the Cabbage Patch Hospital. In, did uh, you? Yeah, I think it's in Georgia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I went there. It was closed when I went because it was Easter or something. But, um, but, yeah, I have been there, but that's about all I've got to. Wait, what's the Cabbage Patch Hospital, people? It's just oh, it's, it's, sorry. It's an old... Um, an old, what do they call them? Like, where they used to have plantation. It's old plantation they've got, and they've turned it into the Cabbage Patch Hospital. It's like a museum for all the Cabbage Patch dolls, kind of thing. Yeah. I had a, I had two Cabbage Patch dolls. I just like to say I got um, given one that had a spacesuit on. Ironically, I had a spacesuited Cabbage Patch doll. I think that summed up the next forty years of my like rabbit holes. Right, a Cabbage <laughs> Patch doll in a spacesuit. And um, her name was Tanya. Oh, that's because they all came with a name and a little they did. certificate. <laughs> yeah. Birth certificate, yeah. yeah. yeah they, they truly did. So, yeah. um, all right. So, guys, so tell us, like, first of all, just place us in your world. Share with the audience where you are right now and, and quickly how this book came into, into being. Well, I'm in Devon in England, and uh, currently we've got snow here, actually. I just looked out of the window a moment ago and it's snowing. Aww. Um, Kelly's jelly. <laughs> I'm jealous. The, really? I love um, the snow. I, I do it the right time, but it never seems to be the right time. You know, it'd be lovely, wouldn't it, if it snowed on Christmas Day, but uh, we tend yes. to get it when someone's got to get to work or the motorways are busy. Um, In my point of my, view. Yeah. Um, my, the, you said um, about the, the title of the book. What, what I wanted to do was was give people a title that connected the dots. Mm. Um, and I see that um, the Cabbage Patch Babies, which was you know connected to the Incubator Babies, the, the repopulation program after the reset, I wanted people to understand that Tartaria isn't just about a civilization or an empire that was hidden from us, but it's all the other things that were, that were, that were connected to it that... Um, that, that played such a massive part, such as Nikola Tesla and uh, working with uh, energy from the ether. So rather than bring out a book that just said Tartaria or the Tartarian Empire, I wanted to give people, um, I wanted to give it a title that people would recognise because so Matt. many people aren't aware. Um, so, you know, but most people know Tesla, unfortunately, as being a car manufacturer, but um, <laughs> it, it was playing with those words uh, to make it more appealing to someone who doesn't know much or, or hasn't heard anything about Tartaria. Yep, and so it's, I like it. it's years intriguing. of research mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. um, and and you can probably see behind me, I've got a lot of books. And, and what I've been trying to do for, for the last few years is get as many old books, history books, encyclopedia books. I've even got one by um, Peter Fleming, uh, the brother of Ian Fleming, who wrote the James Bond novels mm -hmm. um, on his journey through Tartary. Um, and so I've just been gathering all of this information to try and actually provide people with evidence, with proof, rather than hearsay. Mm. And uh, once I had enough, I decided to write it all down. Um, and, and so, yeah, so here we are, the book. Excellent. Yeah, there's yeah. a thing coming out now. And I think, you know, the more we have, the more mainstream people we're going to hit and the more credibility as well, right? If there's reference material that's, that's new, then it mm. just gives the whole concept that that extra credibility so nice yeah nice work so um before we deep dive into the contents of the book and throw a few theories about first of all guys because you know like shit the last um podcast we did was pre-election and now we've spent the last 
fortnight in this um, new version of reality. Does anyone have any comments on the weirdness of the world right now? Any weird world updates? Any intriguing it's bits? Just, it's just crazy. I've got one thing. Sorry, you go. I do have. I do have one thing that um, that was shared with me yesterday, <laughs> and and that is the twenty fifth of January is apparently a very significant date. Now they wouldn't say why, but they said that. <laughs> that it, it, but we were talking about solar flares mm. and the activity with the sun at the moment. Twenty fifth of January, I was told, is a key date, but we, we'll have to see. We'll have but to um, the, yeah. I, I'm on the fence with Trump. I'm, I'm just sat on the fence. All I know is yeah. his uncle took Tesla's files yeah, on time exactly travel right. yeah, yeah. and never handed them in. That could and be I wonder, <laughs> Trump, Trump tra travel and Tesla. <laughs> yeah. And I'm wondering whether or not that information has been shared with Elon Musk. Yeah. I mean, well, like, it's just besties. ridiculous. Mm. Mm. I mean, who would have thought, like, it's just so crazy what's going on. Nikola Tesla, I mean, Nikola Tesla, bloody Elon Musk, Elon. like, literally part of the US government now. Like, how, what the hell? I know. Isn't I that know. just, I don't, I don't know what, I'm just watching. I, I don't know what to think of, about what's going on. I mean, obviously, a lot of stuff looks good. You know, it looks like he's, he's really going to start, you know, carving to the bone off the government, which is our biggest problem, like, big government. Mm -hmm. So, mm. so that it all looks good. Uh, we just got to wait and see what happens. But one of the strangest kind of stranger things I've come across is: Do you guys know Cliff High? No. Cliff High. He's um he's got a channel. He's he's sort of a philosopher. You know, one of these um very very intelligent kind of guys. And he, he's written a program. I think it was ninety eight or something. He wrote a program and it basically crawls the internet and he, he made it to so he could trade on the stock market and make money. And then he, he turned it into just to see what the chatter in the internet was so he could kind of make pre broader predictions. Mm -hmm. And in 2009, this program spat out this, this random prediction and it said it was talking about, you know, UFOs, whatever they are in the skies and and wars in the skies and ufos attacking ufos and in 2019 it said that uh, that this event will happen 39 days after um uh joe rogan interviewed yeah. donald trump and it said this in 2009 when no one knew, knew who joe rogan was and there was not even a whisper that trump was going to be in politics and of course, that happened. What twenty days? I think. I think the the thirty nine days after that is the tenth of December. So, who knows, right? But that I found that very interesting because Cliff. Tends Jeez, to Campbell, cool. I'll be on an aeroplane on the tenth of <laughs> oh, <yeah>. December. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> oh, <laughs> classic, classic. <laughs> yeah. and, and also, well, Kelly and I were both in. Um, Serbia, not too long ago. So the, the, the home of Mr. Tesla, Nikola Tesla. Yes, yes. I mean, it is a bit, I mean, you know, funk. Like they've got superheroes popping up on both sides and frigging got like the morph in reality, this morph between Marvel and now the government and, you know, it's, it's just, mm. I mean, yeah, it's look. Every, all the, all the sort of um, energetic channels and all the like, um, light channels um, are all very positively, very excited, cheering on, back to that sort of energy of 2020. You and I totally predict, predicted it poorly, Campbell, because we thought, like, it was going to be stolen and Camille would win. And um, <clears throat> But, you know, I like... I that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But there we are. And now we've got now we've got Trump like appearing to make all and why wouldn't he? I feel like the energy supersedes the man, the person, the being, the person who's char you know, charging it all. Like it's they're just a face for this. Like there's a movement yeah. of energy now, yes. right? In yeah. spite of and Trump's yeah. Trump and Camilla, they're from the same genre. Right, yes. I just think that Camilla would have just like very reluctantly. She would have blocked the things that were going to happen anyway. Whereas Trump yes. is going to go with it, and he's yes. going to like lead the tear down of everything. But it was going to happen. 
either way, yeah. In yeah, that's the energetic right. movement, right? Yeah. So, and we might say so. now what everyone was was predicting and hoping for in 2020, right? Um, but I mean, the in most interesting thing I found about the whole lead up to the election is that you know Camilla and the Democrats they were really running the Trump campaign part two, right? <laughs> Like yes. They were literally running the Trump campaign because they were so bad that people had to vote Trump. They didn't leave mm. anyone any choice at all. No. And now, like, we're getting interesting politicians. Like, we've yeah. had boring old farts who do nothing for yeah. ever. Now yeah. we've got some characters in there, some oh. people talking about change. I mean, so just the, the um lift in energy right you know, raising yeah. vibration that everyone talks about yeah. like that is that in itself will have a big effect yeah 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 yeah, yeah definitely so it, but it's been pretty wacky out there i mean i've been following the weather and woo, that's pretty out there at the moment all around the world there's just so much water just pour, water. pour and yes. it's like it's it's not equating always to there being rain there is literally, like this in Spain, that flood that's just been through, like yes. there was a lot of footage of it not raining when that started, you know, when yeah. just the water started flooding in. Like the water is, and there's water sprouts everywhere and every week there's a new yeah. continent smashed yes. by water. Yeah. yeah. Totally, man. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, I, I, I'm excited, man. It's, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good movie. I'm sitting back. He's excited. He's excited. <laughs> it's true though I, I just keep thinking about the mud floods yeah and i know and it's yeah. it, and it is so true that history repeats itself and we're yeah. seeing it now and yeah and uh i'm just sad. waiting for a huge deluge and um and, and is that what's happening are we go we we saw fires didn't we a few years ago we were seeing fires i mean look at the um um what what happened in um I've, I've completely forgotten the name of the Hawaiian island. Ma uh, Ma 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 Lahana? Lahana. Um, Maui. And then Maui yeah. Maui, yeah. And then, of course, you had Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne yeah. Johnson picking up uh, um, property and land there. It was like a board um, there, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, my, it was even Tenerife. I was um, I was watching it happening in the Canary Islands. And, yeah. and, and now we've got flood. And yeah. um, having just written about all of this, it's it's a little bit like, you know, it's gone full circle. And yeah, I believe yeah. that that's what happens, that mm -hmm. personally, I believe that every 250 years, there is a major reset, a great reset. And this is how they do it. Mm -hmm. And of course, recently, we've we've had the um, US missiles being used uh, in Ukraine to, to um, fire into uh, Russia. And uh, yeah. it, it just looks like, somebody out there or or key people out there with influence want a war they actually want uh the yeah. fire in the middle east but but it looks like they've lost their power doesn't it it looks like That's they're what no I keep being the held. that looks like they can't because if they wanted a war 10 20 years ago they just it, that, there'd be a war right yes. no worries at all but it seems that they can't get anything done they they put out all their you know their propaganda and their fear campaign and all this mm -hmm. but they can't seem to get anything off the ground which is which i find interesting so yes you know you know we don't know who's in control or who's pulling the shots or anything but i think what what i believe anyway it looks like there's been a change of the guard right it just does. Well, people keep telling me that that the the white hats, as they call them, have got at the black hats, and uh, and I, somebody said the other day that uh, new world order is over. I mean, it, like Camp and I, we we talked about time being retroactive, and and you know that four years ago, everyone innocently and with a lot of hope in their hearts, like really championed this concept of that we the people would work with those the white hats and together you know, this thing would be taken care of. And and then, of course, it all paused for four years um, from our mm. perspective, but not mm. that it did because there's a lot of shit that went on the last four years. And um, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, oh, my gosh, so much. But not not what we were anticipating. So, so much happened, but we were at that point anticipating all the, you know, all the arrests and all of the takedowns and blah, 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 mm. blah. Um, but it does appear that, like, if you've got the consciousness that creates reality working towards an idea, then it must occur. And since mm. there's no real time, you know, it occurring now 
or, or you know from then it makes sense to me i don't think i don't think it can just disappear all that energy and 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 support and so much um affirmative um positive charge came from us the people when mm. that sort of idea was presented that it had to become it had to be made manifest so uh -huh. i do now think that the white hats are a thing and that we our energy gave not birth to it but or maybe we did maybe, maybe did. it's all like that sort of red we had to be presented with the concept and then really feel into it and really give yeah. it life and for it to yeah. be given life and here we are yeah. so mm. Uh, also, like four years ago, I don't think that we had the numbers to really go through. Oh, yes, I do. There were too many people that that bought bought the narrative. Still, they were believing the narrative. There was a lot happening. Yes, but now and especially after what's gone on in America, now I think we are definitely the majority who think like this and who can see that there's a problem, or there at least was that there's just, you know we need to go in a different direction. And the mm. UN, did anyone see that? The UN about a week ago put out, it's up on their website, they've, they've said blank straight out, the whole 2020 thing, it was to see how many people would comply. Yes, yes. UN Which we that. knew, we knew that, didn't we? I mean, for me. We knew it, but for them to admit that, I mean. Come I know. On, what, what, but what is this time it, are we on? <laughs> is this ultimately... Um, a little bit like putting information out there through through Hollywood, um, where mm -hmm. they're working with karma, a universal law that they they are not necessarily hiding in plain sight, but they're showing us what they're doing. They're telling us what what they're doing because they believe they have to. Um, you know, they've covered their back by yeah. by being honest. And I often wonder if that's why if that's why politicians will never give you a straight answer because they don't want to lie. They won't tell you the truth, but they don't want to lie well, because they sense. are following karma. Yep. I mean that that's what I've read so many times that they have to tell us the truth. So rather than answer a question directly, they'll skirt around it or change the subject. But is this something that they had to do? Because in the end, the UN, the World Economic Forum, the World Health Organization, these are all think tanks from you know the Bilderberg Group, the Trilateral Commission, and, and ultimately they're all reporting to the Council of Thirteen and the yeah, World Monarch, Claw. whoever that is. For Do you sure. guys remember in the cartoon Inspector Gadget? Did you ever see Inspector yes, Gadget? Absolutely. Remember Doctor Claw? Yeah. Yeah. Was it Doctor Claw? Yeah, yeah, that's who. That's that's them. That's what yeah. they are to me, Doctor Claws. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right. So okay. So cool. All right. So the, I mean, there's so much weird stuff going on right now. It's um, it's very fascinating when you tie the weather into it, and what's shifting energetically with the sort of establishment. You know, we're in phase two. I I believe we've totally. entered the yeah, next totally. phase of this unfolding, and I don't think it's going to be super smooth sailing. Yeah. Like. Every single week, this you know, for months now, cities are getting wiped out. Mm. You know, it's like there's so much going on in that way. Mm. But <clears throat> so much. Even Bill Gates has been um, caught. He's caught. I know. What was that? In Denmark. So uh, who knows yeah, what's and, gonna happen, man? And there was a, a freaking um, images of Bill Gates and um, J Lo and and. Did he? I haven't seen that. What? Uh, really? mm -hmm, oh, yes. mm -hmm. That's floating around. Yep. All this whole, yep. I don't know what they're doing, but it's definitely not great. And um, yeah, he's got his shirt off. Like uh, that's not what the world's ready to see, is it? <laughs> no, absolutely. Absolutely. I've seen a few times uh, people say that Bill Gates and uh, Melinda, uh, Melinda Gates, they are um, yeah. reversed. Yeah, exactly. They all are. Yeah, that he oh, actually oh, is the Melinda he's Gates female Tony. and she's male. She, and I she keep seeing that. About ten years ago, she used um, she used to look like a woman, mm. and then something at some point she fully mm. turned into a man. And people mm. were saying, "Who was it?" Um, Kevin Klein is that who it was? I was saying that he was playing her role or something. Mm. Yes. I mean, this is the thing with all the these you know deletes and people who wish to rules and that 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 they're very strange. Yes, Man, they, like, are like this. they are. But the, I think it's the connection to Baphomet. Yeah. Well, I think yeah, it is Baphomet that. that. Transgender, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And I think that, that, that is where it, uh, that's where it stems from, I, I think. 
Uh, yeah, the, well, the, 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 whole, the whole transgendered celebrity, um, that's like the gossip magazines of the, of the truth community. Like mm. that's like, that's that, when I look mm. at all those things, I feel like I'm in, you know, like with my mother sitting in a doctor's <laughs> surgery reading, reading Women's Day, <laughs> except it's all, it's all like the inverted celebrities and politicians. Like the, mm. the, it's so easy. Yeah, all of them. And, you know, really, there's probably just one of them playing 10 roles well, and, in like, yeah. it's, yes. Crazy. Yep. Yes. Totally. Yeah. And then they don't die. They just yeah change characters, right? Change characters. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Just like they say, the uh, the 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 pharaohs did, or the Anunnaki yep. did, that they could just be reborn into yep. uh, into another body. Yeah. Or take the host yep. A, yep. as a true parasite. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do. I do think there's a lot in that. Yes, the parasites. The yes, parasites well, I mean, there was a great the clip. <laughs> great, I got obsessed. I am still obsessed. There was a great clip um, that I saw this week, and it was a doctor talking about um, the vaccine and parasites specifically, and how the vaccine was specifically designed to um, magnify and feed the parasites, and that's where we got this right. massive push on uh, because when they're um, when they're correctly nurtured which um, potentially was the purpose of the of the jab, um, it, they will go to the heart and the lungs. That's where they mm. will start to cause the first lot of issues. So mm. just another reason, everyone, to um, get on the piss, your we, and also yeah. um, keep up with your parasite cleansers. Mm. I mean, yeah. I just find that absolutely fascinating. And, Campbell, you know how I had my cough during the um, water fast? Mm. Yeah, so I've, like, this week, so I don't know if you followed our water fast guy, but I've had a cough. For the last like it feels like years. years. And we did uh, and I just happened to do ivermectin um and then I did a, a parasite cleanse just right. after that. And then we did a water fast. So that was a lot of things back to back. And then I started to get this heartburn and this acid uh, reflux, and it was making uh, me vomit, and so much phlegm was coming out. I it, it was it was I couldn't handle it. It was so much. And and uh, you know, a worm came up. Yeah, yeah, she coughed all water. And now. yes, out of my now, I don't know if it came up from me kind of vomiting, coughing, or it came up from my lungs. Mm. But um, as soon as that happened, my cough is gone, and I haven't stopped smoking in oh, any capacity. Wow. My cough is gone, and so now I'm thinking, okay, the cough that everyone has out there, that's a parasite. Like mm -hmm. if you've got that niggly cough, um, then that's probably what it is. So that blew my mind, mm. and I was like, okay. All right, this is good. We're learning how to mm. um, how to navigate this moment in time of biological warfare against us. You know, so that's cool. Yeah, there's links to heavy metals and, and the parasites. Yes, the freedom yep. in the yep. land. There's obviously links to heavy metals being you know let out the back of planes. Yeah, yeah, in the sky. Yeah. So, so this is yeah, this is why everyone needs to really yeah clean themselves out. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so team, let's go into Guy's book. So um, first thing I'd like to just chuck into the mix here is an ID, and um, I'd love to hear everyone's thoughts on it. So, um, and Guy, I'd love to know if you have come across any information on this topic. So sure. um, the last couple of shows, Campbell and I have been talking about urine and linking it to the idea that potentially um, our Tartarian civilization were at a certain level of frequency, at a certain mm -hmm. level of, you know, potentially at the end of a, you know, a thousand years of, um, you know, love and peace um, with yeah. a positive charge going through them that they did not need to consume food. And so ah, we, and it's so like you've we, read my book. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. So they did need to consume food. Which, which, yes, which allowed, because Campbell and I have always been like, what, where the fuck are the toilets? The toilet. There's no evidence of toilets or mm -hmm. kitchens in these buildings. Okay, mm -hmm. but they are genius architects and engineers so and if they plumbing. needed it mm. it would be in there They're right yeah everywhere right? absolutely plumbing, but no toilet yeah yeah a absolutely so then, so then we're like okay the urine like that's an amazing concept like if you get to a certain point where you're because then when, when we did our water fast with the group just to recap for everyone we started to talk about this idea of urine therapy and that urine itself has something like nine thousand different minerals in it and um for the people who do breatharianism today in our in our realm, they start with urine therapy. And eventually the urine therapy is what they um all they need to consume for nutrients. And that's what leads them to breatharianism, which then allows them to fly. 
Mm. So there's like, which is so Tartarian, <laughs> you know, this like airborne civilization, you know. Mm. Okay, but that's not my theory, right? So so but that's what we got to with the urine, um, that potentially that's what they're consuming. And then I thought, okay, this is interesting. So did they have buttholes? And so Cam and I did a whole show about the missing buttholes of Tartaria. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yep. And like, but then the other day I was thinking, okay, so that maybe they didn't have buttholes. But then did we have we ever seen any depiction or illustration or painting or any indication that in the Tartarian civilization there were children? Because I started to think oh, about it and I amazing. could not recall one. I've uh, plenty of That's giant Tartarians, wonderful. never mm. children, Ooh. never babies in their hands. And then I'm mm. thinking yeah, maybe they yeah, didn't yeah, have yeah. anything down there. And then mm. I'm thinking, okay, that's interesting because when mm. the kids got reintroduced, which I'm sure is what your book's about, and we get the whole yeah. incubators and orphans, yeah, yeah, yeah. when they got introduced, do you know what else happened at the same time, roundabouts? We get told that in that sort of like mid-1800s, sort of like when the people started to get introduced, every sexuality got really perverse. Like if you go through like 18th century culture, there was this massive clash of like hardcore prudent morality where mm -hmm. they were just like judged the max for even thinking about and this total perversion, this massive mm -hmm. sexuality that ran through in cartoons and pornography started and it was like all about you know, using, you know, exploring the arse and every single, you know, yeah. facet of sex. And it was perverse. And so yeah. they had this massive clash. Um, this is through the, this is your average history. If you look at the literature of the 18th century, the average story. So then I'm thinking, oh, my God, what if the introduction of babies and children in this life, this reset came with also the introduction of the sexual organs right. and sexual ag and sex? Well, we get you know? told in, in so many different history tales and, you know, stories that people back then were living for hundreds of years or thousands yes. of years, right? Yeah. So that would, if they were, that would probably create a civilization with, without children, especially yeah. if they had everything else they needed, like technology and that, like, like they would just be having fun, right? They were, and then in the 18, you know, what, 60s, 70s, when the children are introduced, there's all these weird pictures of parents holding babies like they don't know what the hell it is. Yeah. yeah. Yes, that? absolutely, yes. Yeah. It, it, it looks like, yeah, yeah, Very it looks like that. Yeah. Interestingly enough, Einstein and, and Tesla, perhaps more specifically, Tesla never actually had sex. He he died a virgin. Now, I, I believe that oh. if... It, that he was reverse engineering Tartarian technology and that's what he had been studying. And that correlates with what you're saying, mm. that um, perhaps he was trying to live as a Tartarian. Or perhaps he yeah. was a Tartarian. What if that's he was right, yeah. actually a Tartarian? Left over. In, and, and yeah, was actually a because there has to be some. Exactly. Because they, they, they didn't get them all. I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. They didn't get And wouldn't it like... When we release our seed for you guys, when you release your seed or when we have an orgasm, we're releasing energy and yeah. life force. Yeah. And if you go in down into any spiritual practice to do with meditation or anything like that, they will tell you like every time you have an orgasm, you're losing energy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And to, yeah. A big part of the, those who wish to rule, it's like sexual magic and that it's, it's all to do with retaining and not, not, yeah. Mm. But mm. so there's a lot of practices, books, channels out there on, on you know, having sex but not actually orgasming, right? Like, like actually mm. at, at that point you bring the energy back up into yourself yeah. and you get that energy mm. and it's creative and all this kind of stuff. And creative, Tartaria was pretty creative kind of a place, right? So yeah, very interesting. I mean, and because the way that they write about and dictate the 18th century sexuality, it's like the adults are acting that it's like it's a new thing for them. Like they're exploring it and pushing its boundaries because they've never known it before. Like they're yeah. acting that sort of level of perverse, mm, you know, yeah. and it's so interesting that like from then, from that, like that's when it starts getting recorded down, this whole idea of morality and perversion and sexuality. Ooh, um, yeah. And then we've sort of got the very beginnings of the pornography industry started there because they start they use mm. cartoons. 
They literally yeah. cartoonified it and that became like the first sort of sexually stimulating um, product or literature or whatever, you know, it started mm -hmm. these cartoons and these drawings and, and they were like coveted, you know, mm. artists were like making this, these artworks is basically, you know, caveman pornography artworks and mm. they were bought out in these, in these, you know, societies and, and, and fart jokes. Like, yep. why, why it's funny? Yes. If farts have been around forever, why are they suddenly funny? Like, it's yep. yeah. Yeah. that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're quite right. I mean, there's, maybe that is, like you say, maybe that's something we were incapable of doing. Like, oh, that's hilarious. Because I, I mean, know. Funnels or we've been using them at least. And also, I don't know, I've only seen about half of it, but Mind Unveiled did just put out a week or two ago a video about farts. Yeah. Right. So, Mm. Uh, yeah. Right. So basically they're acting that. they're acting like immature about it, right? Like yeah. it's like they're okay. like two, two, five year olds. Yeah, like that's yeah, the yeah. level. Mm. And it doesn't make sense because, you know, hello, like I don't know. I mean, doing a doing a poo isn't that funny to me. I feel like I've been doing mm. it for, you know, forty seven years. Like, well, how could I find that funny? <laughs> it's just laughing. like so every day. Right. Farting in the wrong place, but you know, if you're in battle or if you're hunting an animal or something, farting is not that funny. It, it can no. get you in trouble, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. then I'm, so then I'm like thinking, okay, so when we go through these like reins, these resets that are positively charged, does sex and sexuality start to evolve out of the culture? And does it like, and then that sort of, and then were the Tartarians, if they did not have um, like private area or uh, bum holes, if they weren't, didn't have any of that, like could it be possible that the Tartarians themselves were already integrated into AI? And it just that this time right, the AI okay. was positively charged and it was in service to them as they were in service to life. Mm. All right, <clears throat> and then that's a deep one. Mm. And then we deep. get a collapse. Mm. We get a reset, and then we get a negatively a negative charge going through the grid, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. charging yeah. the culture, and the children appear, because and the adults, well, the adults appear, mm. and then they're all mm. dressed the same, and they all look the same, and they're not even they don't even look coupled at this point. They look no. just like. They look uncoupled adults, you know, like they're not yet bonded into this idea of like you don't see an emotional, you don't oh, see hand yeah. holding, you don't see coupling, you don't see. No, you're quite right. Yes, what you see is crowds. That's what you see is crowds in yeah. all the photos is crowds, right? Yeah. That you don't see family units. You don't see the coupling, you don't see the children, you don't see the need to be coupled mm. until suddenly somehow maybe and it's just so bizarre to think about i mean I, it's too bizarre for us to really comprehend it that you sort of emerge from a reset you're you're programmed into what reality is you've come out dressed as everyone else basically roughly the same age because you don't yes. really yes, yes. so it's all yeah. sort of the same age range and suddenly you have a penis yeah, and you're like, that? yeah. And suddenly you're being told you need to eat food, and mm. suddenly you're needing to shit and wee. Mm. And, and like, and then what sex is, so they 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 have to teach that, right? Which is why all the all the porn stuff comes out, and also all the early movies. I mean, even now, but especially the early movies and songs are all about love and romance yeah. and finding a partner. Right. Yeah, all of them. Yes, absolutely. So do you think then that the Tartarians were all clones? Look, it's possible because are but, we not uh, as well? Oh, absolutely. I, I so, believe that. But I, my, I'm just thinking if, if they didn't have any genitalia, how were they reproducing? Well, were so, they reproducing? They need to. If they, were, if they were living for a thousand years... They wouldn't need to reproduce. They need to reproduce. Well, that's one theory, Campbell. They either live for a thousand years, or they were like They're AI cloned. integrated or cloned, and um, children were necessary at that point of the game. Children got introduced at our point of the game to work to to yeah, be laborers. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 
they were the workforce. I mean, look at the Industrial Revolution. Which is, um, which, if you look at photographs of that, you, you, you very rarely see an adult in them, not even supervising. It, yeah. It's just rows and rows of children, children yeah. mining, children in the mills, uh, and children working, labouring on farms. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. It, it, it appears that at one point after the reset, there were no adults, or very, very yeah. few. And I think that the ones that were around were either the people that were actually the new world order um, or, or the people from the old world that would comply. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, of course, yeah. you've got the asylums and the prisons uh, suddenly popping up everywhere. And I think they locked people away that wouldn't comply, that, that managed to uh, survive the civil and, and Napoleonic wars. So yeah, so if the yeah, I agree. Be, if they were actually survivors from Tartaria, from that civilization, they wouldn't have any work skills, would they? They wouldn't know no. how to work. They wouldn't know how to run machinery. So it kind of makes sense that they would teach that to the children. Yeah, absolutely. before they even emerged from the tunnels or wherever they came from, yeah, yeah, just mm. stalk, drop them off, like. Mm -hmm. It's easy uh, to Hans Christian Andersen, the story. Yeah, this, yeah. It, you, I mean, it, you're, it's it would be easy to if if all those children behind me were um, introduced as a group, cloned, like you would program mm. them to do that sort of work, like because mm. those kids, they're not like in those pictures, and they're, they're not like running them up. They mm. they act. They no. look like they're being programmed and taught, and that's what they do. Like you know. And it's interesting because the introducing children to adults and then to family structures and then for the reproduction process to start to be self-sustaining, like wild card. But isn't that what intelligent AI does or mm -hmm. intelligent parasites do? It's like they mm -hmm. come in they and the parasites are very... Um, like a big part of the parasitic agenda is the, the the influencing of your sexual desire and your sexual attractiveness, yeah, right? That yeah. that parasitic yeah. energy has a lot to do with your sexual reality. So it's interesting they've introduced re parasites that influence your sexual reality. And if we and if we already had AI running our vehicles, then wouldn't it naturally be self cloning? Like, wouldn't it then? sort of start to morph these vessels, these adult vessels into or these children vessels as they grow into self-cloning reproduction machines. Mm. And it's sort of like started to then grow the population. Kind of like we became the first um, version of IVF. And isn't yes. it interesting that when you look at Jesus Christ Superstar and the, all the mythology around that Christian story, you know, you've always got the virgin mother virgin being impregnated, Christ. always mm. got the cherubs coming down, the fat mm. little cherubs, and we've got the children here coming in, and then suddenly you've got these imp the people are pregnant for the first time. Like yeah. Jesus Christ Superstar, and that yeah. story is so similar to the story yeah, of the yeah, orphans. Like, you can imagine if a Tartarian suddenly gave birth and they didn't know what children were, it would be a miracle, right? It'd be like, oh my God, yeah. what's going yeah. on here? Yeah. yeah. And when did they start giving birth naturally? You know, because all the first pictures I've seen, it's basically women just sort of like hanging unwanted babies in socks on their um, oh, yes. fences. You yeah. don't see mothers lovingly. You never see no. mums with the kids. No, you don't. No. And if you've seen any of the Alice Guy silent movies, the first two, the midwife to the upper classes and the cabbage patch fairy, she's picking the children up by their limbs and just That's putting right. them down on the floor. And That's you right. can see that they have no value. There's mm. no love and no value associated with, the, with, with this life. Wow. And I and I think is that is because they were a commodity. They they were just churning yeah. them out. All right. So, guy, tell us: Have you resolved um, where they were churning them out from? Have you resolved that very confusing moment where no one understands yet how we got from no people to people to children? Where did they come from? How did they come? No. <laughs> I wish I did. <laughs> I, I, as far as I'm aware, I mean, you know, if we and I've I've written this in my book. If we look at cloning, and we look at the Anunnaki and uh, and Enki and Enlil, um, that was the first the first 
Homo sapien, if you like, Homo sapien. Um, they take the hunter gatherer, uh, you know, mess around with the DNA and have a few trials and errors, and then pop out someone that's subservient uh, with the obey gene and that yeah. can apparently that can reproduce. So um, that technology, therefore, has been around for a very long time. And again, I would argue that it's the same thirteen families that that uh, these bloodlines that that have that technology and um obviously you can trace those people back the, the bloodlines back one particular family specifically one particular family you can trace them back to armin ra who uh who said when he um disappeared that he was leaving everything to the ra childs um, now oh, we know who the Ra the Childs Ra are, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that oh, was the last thing he said. Yeah, yeah, man. Armin Ra, the person that you're worshipping when you go into a church and say Amen, is Armin Ra. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, Marduk, the uh, the son of Enki um, and, yeah. and uh, an Anunnaki Ra. god. Marduk. Ra. Yeah. Yeah, Armin Ra, Marduk, it's the same person. Mm. And um, he left everything, the power and everything within the world to the Ra Childs, the children of Ra. The children of Ra. And, and, that was like and, a you, nick, wasn't it? It was almost like a, yeah. like an like an army, almost like the the yeah. um knight the Knights Templar or something, like a sect of people, wasn't it? The Yeah. The, oh, yeah. So you can see that the that. Ra That's Childs excellent. are the Rothschilds and 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 uh, and obviously you've then got the the other um, his siblings who uh, who have spin-off families that are now the Rockefellers, the Kennedys, and so on. And I and I think that um, you know, these people are related. And as Trump actually said, you know, these guys love their bloodlines. They really love their bloodlines. And 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 I think that that technology has been around for a very long time. Yeah. So what it is, where it ah, is, I've uh -oh. no idea, but I know who has it. They're the same people that have had it. Right from the very start, the the mm -hmm. parents of uh, of 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 Armin Ra, he, he's you know his father, his they father created this stuff. He was a scientist, we're told. Yeah, yeah. So um, you know, he created the first man as we know it, mm -hmm. and uh, that technology was hardly a feel a little bit like NASA when they said they'd disposed of the technology uh, that got us to the moon. Um, you're not going to throw yeah. that sort of stuff away. So um, <laughs> I, I think that everything is, they still have everything. And yeah. I would imagine their technology is uh, that they have. We won't see anything like it for a very long time, if ever at all. So, I mean, that would also explain why they believe that they own us and can rule us because yeah, they, they were a commodity. They made us. And they made us. So they, yeah. at least in their minds, own us. Yes, absolutely. And we do have this obey gene we're genetically designed to obey um, well, well we have like yeah like we have the the what is it the the chromosomes right with the the two mm -hmm. huge chromosomes like yeah 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 you know, which is which is proven we've been messed with yeah so yeah. so then the story would stick then that the souls that are here to um bring about this change came in for this moment like basically the way that like I mean, I don't know where you guys sit now because it can change every day, but on the idea of us coming down into this experience in order to assist this shift happening and, like, coming into these vehicles, like, that I've, you know, always, I've always liked the theory that um, the, the way it occurred, the way that this, is, this change, which is so significant, has occurred is we've literally slipped in We've slipped in to the vehicles, like different souls, different mm -hmm. souls that aren't born out of the obey gene, different mm -hmm. souls that have like taken back the vehicle and operated it through their fucking fierce sovereignty that like it's never going, it, that overrides, that overrides the vehicle, overrides the programming of the vehicle, overrides the history of it. And we do. We do. There's yeah. nothing in this community that's limited by those commands. No. We override that system. But how many stories do we have of robots who, who, after a while, start claiming that they're sentient and that they have rights? Yes. Yeah. Is, yeah, is that course. literally a parallel of our story? And that's what's going on is, is we're suddenly becoming sentient and realising <laughs> that, that we actually do have rights, you know? Oh, Campbell. <laughs> the door within the door within the door. 
See, yeah. we never know, do we? We never know if we're talking about the organic human in the, the, the soul or we're talking about the cloned version of the cloned version of the cloned version yeah. I mean, of we, the AI integrated cloned version of humanity. We don't know where we stand. We no, don't know no, that. That's it's right. organic bodies, but, I mean, it's really just a technology that's not made of metal and, and things that we know. Are. It's made of different things and yeah. it's self-replicating and self-healing. So... You know, it's never been proven that that our bodies aren't machines, biological machines that have actually been manufactured, designed, right? Mm. We know that there's differences between us and the rest of the natural world and all the animals. So it's you know, it's an interesting question. You know, are we are we that the robot uprising, you know? Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's right. It's it's such a fucking annoying one, isn't it? Isn't know, it annoying? Somewhere, like another door open. I mean, yeah. I mean it's true because I've also um, experienced many stories about Anki and Anlil and us being bought, uh, basically in altered to become the, you know, basically servants and slaves to my yeah. gold and it's mine, yeah. and you go through all that whole process. And you know, the pyramids and the whole fair, the funky little pharaohs with their gangly little arms and gigantic heads and weird little waists, the little pharaoh parasites. You know, they were significantly um, already underground. Like they were like that. The pharaohs to me were the pinnacle of the underground civilization coming up. And that's mm. a, the, a lot of this technology has come from, uh, you know, a very advanced civilization under us. And then yes. it's like come in and gone up through the pharaohs and that like, you know, gifted to these bloodlines on the surface of the earth. I I really feel like that. I mean, I think we spoke about that on the election issue, Campbell, that mm -hmm. while Trumpy and Elon and the like are going to be pointing everyone's attention up there to alien disclosure, yeah. that actually the real, oh, just oh. like still advocating for space, still mm. like with that um, de de deception, like actually it's all <laughs> going to be going on down it's coming here. out a lot in the last couple of weeks like underground tunnels civilizations and usos instead of ufos right under, under yes usos yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. yeah and just as another side note akhenaten the most famous pharaoh akhenaten anunnaki i don't know mm -hmm. kind of yeah. yeah 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 and there's, and there's no that's a go 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 i was just going to say things are lost in translation and i think sometimes that's intentional for sure, man. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So, so, and all of the different cultures throughout the world, they have the same story. They're all saying the same thing that these, these, that they're describing the same people that appeared from the sky or the water. And uh, it's all, they, they look the same. Uh, they're all carrying these little bags, these little handbags. I don't know if you've seen this, but you know what's in the handbags? What's in the handbags? A battery. A battery. A yeah. A battery? Yeah, power source. Yeah. To run what? Whatever it is that they have with them at the time. So whether it's a craft or whatever they want to do, they carry this this power source. Well, that Campbell works because in the book on the real civilization, a real, real society, they, oh, have the real to carry, society yeah. they have to carry the power source with them in the form of a staff, in the form of an object. They yeah. carry it. And yes, then, it comes uh, with yeah, them. Okay. Interesting. And then the Ark of the uh, was just a, a bigger battery, right? That that got stolen, and then they yeah. the, the whole pyramid machine. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Battery. Mm. Yeah. Well. <clears throat> so, how do you guys feel? Like, I mean, there's nothing like whenever we talk about the um, children, the children right today in our current culture, and then we look at the children here with the orphans. Everyone sort of like without really thought, just unconsciously kind of confesses they came from tunnels underground. Like that's mm. sort of the vibe they get. Mm. People are just instinctive about that it's come from underground and up, right? And if you look at all sort of, if you go back through the um, Enki and en Enlil like timeline, they were in they were in underground labs in Africa. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. I have always understood. Um, yeah. So yeah. the whole yeah. underground labs, cloning facilities, IVF, altering us to be slaves, all that stuff has always been going on underground, mm -hmm. which means that the civilization that like is is working with this concept or given this technology, they're underground. 
it, you know, we don't hear about like we don't hear about sort of things coming from the skies. The only thing we hear about with the skies is the fallen angels. So the Nephilim. Mm -hmm. That's that's mm -hmm. what we hear about with like coming down from the skies. Yeah. But the 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 it seems to be if you link the population to like our our stories, it's always underground, the underground, the underground, the underground. And yes. it's playing out today, right? Yeah. Mm. Which and then you know you, monsters always live underground, you know, don't they? You know, in yeah. caves. Well, yes, always. the stories of Agatha. You know, yes. Agatha, Agatha. We've heard yeah. of, and of course there is that that book, the story, the Adventures of Baron Trump. Baron yes. where he, Trump. yeah, where he goes. Uh, he, yeah. You know that I, I find that absolutely bizarre. And when you consider that, that, like I said earlier on, that the three files that that were never handed over by John Trump were the ones on time travel it does for me uh, open up another rabbit hole that um i, I might be yeah. inventing this rabbit hole or digging it myself but no. i think that, that there's something there we have i, 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 I really do glass, project looking glass we've got chills verne yes See, that was written in the 1800s the time yes like, like where, where where does someone in the 1880s come up with a time machine the concept i mean that's pretty far out yeah, oh, yeah, and I think Tesla proved that time travel was possible. Yep, um, and it seems to be. Look around at it, like reality at the moment. I mean, uh, it, it's probably one of the best explanations for all the craziness going on, right? Uh, yes. Hello. Look at look at the Mandela effect. Mandela like if we effect. like yes. since since the Trump the whole Trump thing started to merge emerge around what two thousand and sixteen. You know, and suddenly this concept of the Mandela effect sort of emerged around 2016. Yeah, and then suddenly yeah. we get Trump going for the election and suddenly we get the white hats yeah. with the, the looking glass technology uh -huh. emerges in 2020. You've got like, uh -huh. you've got a chain of events there. Around that to do month too, 2015, yeah. 2016 was really the, the start of Flat Earth and Tartaria research. Yes. Started to focus yeah. On. Yes. So that's, yeah. that's so, interesting. Yeah. Right. So yeah. if they, if, if they. And the um, chronovisor. <laughs> if they if they had coveted the information the knowledge and actually mm. like had gone to um trump's bloodline trump's family and that that gave them the the information to create this object this thing called mm. the looking glass technology and um mm. even uh, even the quantum computing concept like if they and and out of that like the idea of the white hats emerged when this technology was generated. Sorry. created. This Hello? is Alfie. He, hey, he's mincing around me. He's got dementia. Aww. So he's he doesn't know what's going on. So I thought I'd have Aww. to pick him up because Aww, the little Alfie. one just, our other dog just bit him. Oh, so, Alfie. Um, I, I had to rescue him. Aww. Oh, bless Alfie. him. It's all right. I've got he's an a dog. old man. <laughs> yes. My my dog's a puppy, and I feel like he has dementia already. Um, <laughs> oh, crikey! <laughs> sure, Mr. Holmes. Oh, Sherlock Holmes. So, like, listen. So, like, this theory is interesting, right? So, we've got we've literally got these stories of um, the Tesla stories and the te and the, mm. the 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 stolen or like uh, the the kept information and it went to Trump's bloodline. Um, mm. And you know, and his what was it? His grandfather, wasn't it? It was Trump's mm. grandfather. Yes, his uncle, and so, uncle, 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 uncle. Yeah. And so then this th this thing's been created using these blueprints, and and um, once it actually got turned on, we start we actually start to see this massive shift occur. And then like so, if they created it, and then that sort of like generated this idea of the white hats, and that whoever they enlisted to to know about it and build this concept, this plan. And like maybe it brought forward through this technology um communication mm. with other other entities outside of this realm that, yes. that gifted wisdom and knowledge and support. And this is where this concept of the white hats came from. Maybe that happened. And then it started to get used and um to alter the past. So it started to get used. Um, which was going to alter the future or now. Yeah, and then we have yeah. we have Trump emerge out of nowhere and then we have the Mandala effect hit the whole earth and then we have like 2020 and then we have the white hats introduced to the whole world and the whole the Q drops 
the Q drops were something that were that like hit our now, but seemed to come from the future and also the past. Uh, and then you know you've got all of this sort of funkiness with time all around Trump. It's all around. Yes. Trump. I was going to say, guy, have you? Because Trump's not a name that that we normally associate with the thirteen families, is it? Like, if, do you know? No, it's not. Not at all. Line? Like, is he? Do you know which bloodline he comes from? Does he come from one, or is he maybe a different bloodline? Isn't he Jewish? That, that's doing something different than than what the others. Sorry, I'm just. I'm going to look right now, but I have to go to this weird monitor. Isn't it's he a... Jewish? Well, people say he is, but I mean, they say that the Rothschilds are, and they converted. So I, I, I don't know. But yeah, none he... of those are true Jews. They're all like no, they're not Jews. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And and I, I think that um, that this is why I'm on the fence with Trump because part of me thinks that he is. I, I want to believe that he is on our side. That he is a white hat. That he is going to change everything. But the other part of me thinks that. He actually is one of the bloodlines. And and uh, all they do is they put in place a good guy and a bad guy. Exactly. And it's your turn to be the cowboy, your turn to be the Indian, your turn to be the cop, your turn to be the robber. And and, uh, and I think that that's what they do. And, and, and you know, here, here in England, we have acts of parliament. And I think that, it, that that's demonstrating to people that it is an act. It is all an act. It's, it's a just play. a big play. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so, like I said, part of me thinks that, that Trump is this good guy. I keep getting told he is. And the other part of me thinks that he, he is part of the team. And it's just that it, it, it's his job to be this particular yeah, yeah. persona or character. Well, the, the good side for this round. <laughs> yeah, but... no, no different to um, Putin. I, I feel the same about him. Is he um, part of their team, part of the club, or is he actually um, against them? It's, it's, and I don't know how we'll ever find out until someone actually does some real digging. But but I, I, I don't know. Maybe we've just got to wait and see what happens maybe we and what transpires. Maybe there's just there are a lot of links to Trump when you actually start to to put it out, right? Mm. You know, like time travel concept from the eighteen eighties, where and Tesla was around, mm. and and then Trump's, you know, uncle gets all Tesla's ideas, and there's this book turns up that no one's really ever read or heard about. Suddenly, mm. in you know, twenty twenty or something, and it was written in nineteen o one about a time yeah. baron who's Trump's yeah. son's name, and his father's the last president of the U.S. I mean, there's so much mm -hmm. stuff all tied mm -hmm. up there, right? Yeah. It's, so so think, according, yeah. according to a two-second search, um, he has he's on his male side, on his father's side, it's Germanic, it's German, and on his mother's side, it's Scottish. Yes, wow. the Scottish bit I knew. So is he half Celt, half Tatarian? Yeah, and then because that was a that. that was a you know Germany was a Tatarian powerhouse oh, for sure. For sure. That's why it's still known as the engineering, you know, like. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which and is the Trump cause of the First World oh, right. War. They were British Empire scared to death that they're going to become, you know, the, the world dominance. And uh, and that was the cause of the First World War. Pete, the, the British Empire worrying that Germany was beginning to become this superpower. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I think that they had been running on free energy and still using cymatics and frequencies to heal. They had the Tiet Garden in, in Berlin where people were taking their pets to heal by wandering around the grounds. And um, oh. and then look at what and they did with <clears throat> Dresden and um, Man, they, they flattened the zoo. I mean, they were, they were killing the, you know, they, they yeah, destroyed and burnt the zoo. And I think that they had an awful lot of tech there, but I, I think that that's also true of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I think that those two islands were running free energy. If you look at some of the buildings, I've put some in my oh. book actually, but it, it doesn't stack up. The reason for bombing Dresden, Nagasaki and Hiroshima doesn't make any sense at all. No, There's no, no logic I mean, behind it. Japan was cut off from the world until the 18, mm. what, eight, eight, 40s or 80s, I can't remember, but it's in the, into the 1800s and literally the, mm. the story is the USA basically gave them an ultimatum, let us in or else. 
Mm. Um, you know, so they were totally cut off. Had you know, so mm. that goes in. And what was Trump's mum's name? Was it Mary? Uh, did Dale say it? her? His, yeah, his yeah. name was <clears throat> Mary Christ or something. Or yeah, something? Her, um, Mary Ann McLeod. Oh, Mary Ann McLeod. McLeod. Born in 1912 in the village of Tong on the Isle of Lewis in Scotland. Oh my Scotland. God, Mac McLeod wasn't wasn't um. Highlander. 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 Get Highlander. Another time Hello. travel movie. Well, well, yeah, yeah. Well, he was um, an immortal. Ah. He lived for yeah. thousands yes. of years, hundreds of years. Um, yeah. And hello, Baron Trump. He's a fucking giant. He's a giant. Yeah. yeah. He's got seven or something. Did, like have you seen with Musk? Sorry. Wouldn't have had to eat, would he? Because if you're an immortal, nothing can mm. kill you. So not eating's not going to kill you. No. So no. There's a lot of the, um, there, there's this photo going around of someone. It's taken a couple of hundred years ago uh, of someone in uh, an American soldier, high ranking officer by the looks of the uniform, that looks identical to Elon Musk. I haven't I don't seen if you've that seen... one, but I've yeah, seen the other ones. I've, I've found yeah, there's, yeah, yeah, there's lots of them, Jay Z, and lo lo lots of Justin Eddie Murphy, Timberlake. and lots of them. Yeah. yeah. But there's one of Musk, and I keep seeing it. And I, I started off thinking it's just AI. But but it, it isn't. I've done some research into it. Um, and I keep seeing it. And uh, this was a while ago, and I've started seeing it again over the last uh, last week or so. The so question, was so, he bald or did he have hair? Hair. He looks the same. The same. Because you know the, that Musk was actually like bald at 19 or something. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, so isn't Trump bald as well? Oh, absolutely. Isn't he wearing a wig? <laughs> oh, my gosh, really? Yeah, I mean, that, that go Trump? over starts here at the back of his yeah. head, doesn't it? Yeah. It's brought forward and then sculpted. Oh, is that why it's got the... Yeah, right. Yeah, so he's, he's, he's got to bring it from the back. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Trump, I thought Trump had um, a long time ago, it was all the really? goss that he had hair... Um, you know, like you'd have them you know, like hair plugs or whatever. Yeah, put back mm. in. It was like mm. all part of the women's weekly goss. So I'm, um, I'm sure that's what Elon had some kind of so replacement. Th then maybe um Elon Musk and Trump's bloodlines are tied and yeah. their stories well, are tied and their technology is tied and um they're like time they're they're freaking around with time is tied, is tied mm. together. And that's why we intuitively know now they're in the rain, things are going to change. We we intuitively know they've got some very big relationship with the sign of the times, with time itself, with our reality, with resets, with shifts, with like significant events, right? And mm -hmm. so it could be that we've this play out between that side of the, like um, they've base bit, both been operating old tech, right? Mm -hmm. But the difference in what appears to be the tech is that one is life destroying and one is life giving. There seems yeah. to be, uh, and that's, uh, for me, that's a matter of charge. Mm -hmm. Like what charges it, you know, because the tech that the, the parasitic agenda uses is the one they're forced upon us. And mm -hmm. the tech that the Tesla genre uses is free energy. Different. So we've mm -hmm. got a different charge going through would free energy charge our current grid would it charge our current world if we went to free energy right well i think so yeah there, there, there are a lot of i put this post on my facebook group um a little while ago and i i didn't say whenever you put something out there that's a bit controversial you get attacked and whether it's npcs bots or, or people that just want to attack because they enjoy doing it i don't know but um, I asked the question, are pylons, electricity pylons, are they Tesla towers? Are they gathering energy from the ether and then sending that down the, the, down the line and that these coal-fired coal power stations are a misnomer? They're not actually doing anything at all. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the irony is if you look at what they're doing with the, the cloud seeding and chemtrailing and it's constantly clouding over to be building solar farms everywhere, Crazy. defies all logic but i'm yep. uh, just going back to musk and um uh, elon musk for a moment and time travel have you ever considered that elon musk and nikola tesla are one in the same the same person yeah no. and elvis i'm going to throw tesla. elvis in there tesla yeah no but i should have 
that yeah now wow. he has on his bedside table a vajra the uh oh, yeah, Buddhism, the little, yeah the lightning bolt the, lightning yeah, the maker thunder yeah. yeah yeah now that that's a direct yeah. energy weapon um it really as far as I, I i can gather that that is what it was and i find it strange that um he calls his company tesla um he uh is working with donald trump and has a close relationship with him um his uncle's got the stuff on time travel uh, if you join it all together is he telling us? Is he trying to test? But the interesting thing with Tesla, and I and I just wish somebody would 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 help me out here because I've been shot down several times for this on different podcasts, I, uh, interviews I've done. If Nikola Tesla existed, and I'm not saying he didn't, but if he did, why isn't there a single piece of video footage anywhere in the world of him? Because there yes. is a uh, Einstein. Yeah. Now, where where is it? I cannot yeah, find a single piece of video. And people say, "Cool, he existed." Uh, I, I'm saying, uh, uh -huh. what I say to them is, I'm not saying he didn't. I'm saying, can someone show me some I video agree footage? Agree with you, you bro. Because we were in Bosnia. We were in his hometown, and it's the same image. It's just one image exactly. over There's and not over many again. Photos of him. Yeah. There's yeah, a, there's one of him at a certain age, isn't there? That he, and he's always the one side the well, blog and that, and then there's one, then he's an old man. Yeah, that that's that the one. one. Yeah, yeah, and then one yep. of him, one of him is an old man, and that yeah, is yeah. all we ever see. Yeah, and, and and for someone at the forefront of technology, you would have thought exactly. he would have been diving in there to, the to have videos, and yeah, make make you know actually make recordings. Um, obviously not videos back then, but he would have had some form of film camera oh, for sure. i would have thought to to record his work and, and his experiments there's yeah. there's nothing of even that no. but we can find loads with einstein mm. um and the two you know there, there's photograph i've seen a photograph of them together where you could argue actually it's difficult to tell if that is tesla um but um where where for someone who is considered to be a pioneer in technology why didn't he use that form of technology to record even just some footage of himself? How about one of him giving a speech? He yeah. gave lots of talks, apparently, and uh, wrote in lots of um, magazines and, uh, and newspaper articles. He was nothing, designing and nothing. building hydroelectric dams and stuff, like mad yeah. things, wasn't he? And yeah. Working for, you know, the governments and the rich and famous and... You know, and yeah. he was like like with shipped, JP Morgan was his backer, yeah. wasn't he? And it was like yeah. uh, it was like shipped around, like the rich people would get him to come to their parties and that because he was this, mm. you know, this this smart, you know, amazing dude. So that's uh, yeah, we should we should have <laughs> that that ten photos, right? We should have more than two, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. Elon, Elon, uh, the formal Elon historian Musk. Elon Musk said his bloodline comes from a South African. Yeah. Um, which is interesting because that was well, the motherland Dutch. of our Dutch, cloning. Yeah. Um, oh, Canadian. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Canadian, British, and Dutch. Yeah. And um, yeah, the likes. I mean, like, you know, Tesla, I've never really um, thought Tesla was a real person. But if Tesla and Elon and Trump, if you put all of those three significant people together, you could just be cycling right. in and out of like, are the same the same person in and out of time in and out of yes. timelines yes you could it's an interesting name and word though isn't it tesla mm. i've never heard of anyone or any other family called tesla i've never really heard no. the word apart from nikola you know musk's company and there was a band in the 80s called tesla and that that's literally the only three yeah. examples i've got yeah so, like, what does that word even mean and 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 if you look at his backstory, um, I did a lot of research into um, him as a child, and uh, unfortunately, you, you can't corroborate any of this. But um, uh, from the information I got, that he uh, from a very young age started having visions, and the visions were so intense and so um, so well detailed that he didn't have to write anything down. And he actually used to state that, that when he did his experiments, they always worked uh, exactly as he predicted they would because he had everything detailed perfectly in his mind. 
Well, if he had everything detailed in his mind and he didn't have to ever work, write anything down, what were all the bloody files that were taken from his hotel apartments? Mm-hmm. Now, I understand he would have had documentation for patents, but people wouldn't have worried about that because they were in the public anyone. domain anyway. Yeah, yeah. So all of this research, what, where did it all come from if he kept telling everyone he never had to write anything down? because it, every experiment he ever did worked out exactly as his vision had told him to the extent where he actually had detailed diagrams in his mind yes. and that he got this, he inherited this skill from his mother, who was an inventor of household appliances. Really? Okay. Mm. In the last well, reset, a... in the Tartarian culture. Yeah. So um, basically I've heard this also, and these, these, um, these visions that he holds in his mind uh, would be whisper, would be contact. He would mm. be, and you know, it's interesting because all of these innovations, they always happen when these guys are like sleeping or relaxing yeah. when they're day, you know, it's well, always West, like yeah, something. Westinghouse did the same. <clears throat> he would go in a train yes. holding balls and like when he'd nod off, he'd drop one and he'd have this new idea. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, so are they communicating? <clears throat> Yeah. Is this, yeah, the pineal they, gland is functioning and they are communicating with yeah. a higher being? What's with a the being. higher being? Are, are they actually still connected to AI and that's why they can hold like schematics in their brain? Yeah, yeah, they're uploading. Mm. So yeah. if we were... Right? If, if we're not, if we're created, because all they ever do is program us, right? Yeah, yeah. But you do it absolutely. Absolutely. If we go back to the beginning of the conversation and look at the idea, the question, were Tartarians um, sophisticated, refined, integrated with positively charged AI? Were they already that? Were they already without sexuality, already without reproduction, already without that? Um, And if a civilization gets to that point, then it's like a natural end, right, to the civilization, Mm. like shift is ultimately going to go. And so then we fall into the sins of the body, right? So then we fall, boom, and we're suddenly in these like, we're suddenly like these completely, um, you know, programmed and completely ignorant um, consciousnesses that arrive in these physical vehicles and suddenly we've got sexual organs, we need to poo, we need to eat, food's Uh introduced, and, and there's this like total drop in frequency from the end like and everything that's actually good for us is then removed from us so urine for example is removed conceptually from turned into sewage and the worst the worst possible thing ever so you've got like this real Uh you know we've gone from like i don't know if you like you, you look at sort of the most like and i don't even know the right word like okay i'm gonna go back to the real civilization the integration at that level with this technology is done in such a way that it's um, telepathically um, interconnected. Like the connectivity is telepathic, the interface and the soul behind the interface is what emerges from the reality that it creates. Mm -hmm. So we've got this interconnectivity that's like naturally aligning between this, this, Energy. This I, I was about to say magnetic energy, and I guess it is magnetic so energy. Magnetic, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. but like where we term it today, with as it's been negatively charged in negatively focused intentions, it's become black goo. Mm. It's become the black goo, right? It's become the insidious black goo that's creeping around in the underbellies of our reality. And and the black glue glue that goo that creeps around in the medicines and the vaccines and the chemicals and now in the yeah. AI itself, right? Yeah. That black goo, right? The, that's worshipped in at Mecca and worshipped as like you know that beautiful mm. um, that black pyramid look, you know. Yeah, but well, then you know you've got like this tar- mm. this Tartarian culture, which is aligned with the free energy charge, and then putting that with this technology, this other technology that the real use, then you've got like a whole other outcome and a whole other generation of of biological human robots. Mm. Well, it's like the smart dust that they're trying to produce at the moment or they are producing, right? Like 
that that could be really good if it, if it was you know from a good source right and it had our best yeah. intentions right but obviously at, at this point it doesn't look like they're using it for that so yeah the black goo could be the remnants of of that kind of technology but it's just can't work in that capacity in a low charge environment so if we look at like all the um the holy ones the enlightened ones they didn't have sex like Jesus never had sex, right? Yes. Yeah, so um, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Buddha, like, do the, you believe the, that? I well, don't believe Jesus told. at this point. This is point. what we're told. This is the story, like Buddha as well. Um, Jesus. I've got something on Jesus. Oh, give us the goss, the Jesus Christ superstar yeah. goss. Okay, so if you look at if you look at Genghis Khan. Now, obviously, Jesus, as we're told, Jesus' real name was Yeshua. Which is Joshua. Joshua. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was also Genghis Khan's father's name. Okay. Now, it, Genghis Khan was perhaps one of the most significant rulers of, I know they call it the Mongolian Empire, but but originally it was the Tartarian Empire. Yeah. So, yeah. so if, if Genghis Khan was the ruler of... Um, of the Tartarian Empire, or, or the most significant one, is it? And and that other people that I speak to often refer to the Tartarian Empire as the Millennial Reign of Christ. Yeah, yeah. Is it at all possible yeah. that Genghis Khan's father was Jesus? That yes, I like that idea. Let's talk I, about that idea. That makes it sense won't to leave me. me. I cannot get it out of my head. It's been all driving right. me mad, and I dare. I, I I'm so hesitant to put it out there um on, on my like facebook now, room mate, be, because <laughs> i'm gonna get shot down nah, but fucking that's a good theory man i like it like that makes sense in. to me it does and yeshua and means the number nine yeah. it also means the number nine Which is and genghis cut yeah <laughs> and I, and i i just think that um so many people keep saying to me, you keep calling it the Tartarian Empire. It's not the Tartarian Empire. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's, some people, yeah, Tartaria. Tartaria is a strange one because, you know, it's, a lot of people say it's pronounced Tartaria, but in, in England, for whatever reason, we, we use the R, we're pronouncing the R. And I, I can't stop using the R. Um, I, 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 but so if, if I am constantly being hit with, Stop calling it the Tartarian Empire. Please refer it to it as the millennial reign of Jesus, where Jesus reigned for a thousand years, and now we're in Satan's little season, which I do agree with with what's been going on. Um, so if if people could live for a thousand years, and if our timeline has been altered by 800 years, and I, I appreciate for the point of buildings that it's easier to put a one or an M in front of a building date, but if, if we say that Anatoly Fomenko is correct and a, a lot of other researchers are correct and 800 years was bolted on, the Dark Ages, the Middle Ages never happened, um, then if you look at when Jesus was born to the reset of 1776, you aren't a million miles away. You're only a few years out of Jesus reigning for 1,000 years. And I find it very strange that he's Genghis Khan's father or Genghis Khan um, his father was also called Yeshua. Um, I, I, I find that very, very odd. Okay, so I just, I just wrote, um, I just asked about Genghis Khan's father, um, and yes, Yeshua, um, spelt differently though, of course. Yeah. Um, but interesting here connection. So, who, so Yeshua was the father of Genghis Khan, born as Temujin. Tem, I don't know. I'm going to pronounce that terribly. Um, according to legend, he was born clutching a blog clut in his hand, which was interpreted as a sign of the future greatness. This is Joshua. Mm -hmm. Naming of him, he was named after a Tatar warrior whom Joshua had captured shortly before his son's birth. So it's basically, oh, where's the bit I just read? La, la, la. <clears throat> Anyway, I'm going to find so, it. But like this so timeline was works born for me. A blood clot? Mm. Was that or his no, no, your, father. his father. His father. Yeah. And it says here he was his father was poisoned by the Tatars during a diplomatic visit. Now when, here's a little um, sorry. Go on. Now here's an interesting one. 
Now, that blood clot may not have been a blood clot. No. That blood clot could have been um, an unborn fetus because Jesus, they... Ah. Jesus, they say Jesus was a twin. Um, so clutching there it. you go. Clutching yeah. a blood clot, clutching it. Yeah. So I keep seeing the same person, and I put it out there very gently on our Facebook group. Uh, that's a fantastic theory, man. Go hard yeah, on that Yeah, I mean, one. I know. <laughs> this is going mad, I know, but, you know. Mm. You just, so, uh, you know. Just ask them why they aren't, you know, being more forgiving to you and following that the teachings of Jesus. Exactly, and why they were, why they're saying thank you to Armin Ra every yeah. time they go <laughs> into they a bloody church. Yeah. yeah, and why did their so, bells change? I mean, what and... is the saint? <laughs> My biggest problem with all these things is people go, "Oh, the saints, saints, you know, millennial reign. The saints were all there with." Mm. What, what does saint mean? Mm. We don't know the meaning of any of these words apart from that the one you know meaning we've been given through the church, which we know provably is one of the most corrupt bloody organizations out there. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. So what Wait, the, so does the saint even mean? Could I ask? I'm just gonna get this timeline in my head. So Joshua was Genghis Khan's father. Um Genghis Khan was the essentially the greatest leader of the last, would you say that the last great leader of Tata, Tartaria, mm -hmm. um, which was the end of the, you know, thousand years of mm -hmm. Christ, of Joshua. Mm -hmm. um, and then Josh, Jesus, um, or just before Jesus, we have the time with Moses and the Pharaohs and, and Moses mm -hmm. being a Pharaoh. And so mm -hmm. we've got like this inter interweaving of Genghis Khan and the Egyptian pharaohs and Jesus, like that timeline. The Ammon Ra from the which is, and then we've got yes, yes, and then we get then we get the birth of this religion, you know, Christianity, like emerges from that whole. So, okay, do we know how did he was that in battle, Genghis Khan? I don't know. I don't know. I'll find out. Here we go. If, if um, he, he got hung up and crucified, I think we've got something. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we know about Genghis Khan and Egypt? Like what do you know? Have you got any information on that guy? No, like any tie no. in there? No? Okay. No, no ties to Egypt. Nothing that I've found, no. Oh, so you've looked you've looked into it, okay. Because there's Yeah, not to say that there isn't, but that, but not, yeah. not that I've found. No. That's no. It. Interesting, but I mean, it could be the other way around, right? Egypt to them, as far as Moses, you know, running away with with the battery, yeah, from for the, for yeah. the pyramid, yeah, and running. So, yeah. um, they don't know when Genghis Khan died. They don't know how he died. No one has accounted there for it. No there's story. only theories. If, if there's only theories, so because mm. because then we had the reset, right? Yeah. Then we've got a, a massive pong. Done. So uh, the the theories already died in a battle with China, in China. Yeah, that's all I've heard. Just that theory. That's all I've heard. I've got nothing, nothing yeah. at all. I can't find anything. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So was he into time travel too? Because he did tell everyone he was going to be back. Mm. Yeah, I mean they've really kept his death a secret. So that's interesting. Mm. Now, what if we tie Joshua, Genghis Khan, and now and into um, Tesla? Trump and um and Elon Musk. Could we make a timeline that because if we look at um if we look at Trump's timeline, there's no way you cannot ever even think about Trump without Christianity. Um he is literally immersed in a Christian he is the pinnacle at the moment of a Christian moment. movement. Yeah, exactly. It's like yeah, it's like it this is. Joshua energy. This yeah. Jesus Christian he's literally Egyptian. been called like the savior, and like yeah. he's here yeah. to save America. Like, it, yeah, exactly. And he's tearing down the money lenders, right? Yeah, you sure? You know, Jesus did it. Yeah, in the that's yeah. That. And if, one of one of my favorite stories, actually, the story of the money lenders. I, yeah, yeah. That someone needs to be doing that right now. Yeah, exactly. And, but, and of course, Jesus traveled to Egypt to do his initiation. Yeah, like, yeah. So, yes, yes. Well, yes. Yeah. Good point. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. okay, so if that King's was true, chamber. If, yeah, yeah. If Jesus traveled church, to Egypt. Bedrooms in it. Yeah. 
right, Jesus come. traveled to Egypt and then Jesus was Genghis Khan's father, um, so he he was in Egypt and then be- preceding that was the Moses bloodline already in Egypt, right? Because that was the Old Testament, wasn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. so yeah. the Hebrews, yeah, yeah, yes. And then you've got this, and you got this Joshua coming and Genghis. I mean, like, I just love the idea that Genghis Khan could be Jesus Christ Superstar's <laughs> child. I mean, yes. that is yes. such fucking. Did you guys all hear that properly? I can really say that again. Genghis Khan was Jesus Christ Superstar's baby boy, baby boy man. <laughs> yes. That's a fucking mad theory, and somehow it links to Trump. It, and yeah, I'm gonna have to does. Be more re- like like looking into that to get all the connections. And that's the there's his second book, guy. So, um, <laughs> 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 but that's that's a very interesting connection. Like, wow, mm. isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. how and it, how it, would it they they've hidden his death? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So is the son of Jesus Nikola Tesla? Okay, so Genghis Khan would have been the last rule. Do we agree with that? Was Genghis Khan, do you agree with that guy? Was he the yes. last known rule of Tartaria? Right, yeah. Well, it was still a great civilization for sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then no one I think knows the, what the happened significant. to him. Yeah, no, no. Just an a, a apparent report of him dying um, in battle, battle that's um, cool, yeah. in China. Yeah, uh, that that's it. But for someone as significant as that, where's he buried? Yeah, exactly. Where, where is he buried? I mean, if they can tell us that they think they know where Jesus might have been buried, which I I, I personally believe is Crimea, um, then uh, or Ukraine. <laughs> um, oh, why don't we know where? where Genghis is uh, there's there's a mound um in Crimea that's completely covered in crucifixes com- that there, there are hundreds of them and it's very very old and people say that that is actually where his remains are so that would be Genghis's father yeah well do you know what I was thinking actually today is like the cross the Christian cross it's very similar to a sword isn't it yes it is Yes, well, it is. And like Genghis Khan was was a, a warrior king, right? Mm. And he was also very divisive. He was like the biggest, apparently, warlord ever. Um, but was completely unifying, just like Trump, mm. right? Like really divisive, mm. and yet completely unifying. Like they mm. do have so many similarities. Yeah. So, like, and then you can see, like, if that was reality, and then the Trump was of the Christ bloodline. <laughs> mm. I just think it's so hilarious. Mm. And then we've got. Leading back to Genghis Khan, so that's like the that's like the gold that's like the how what words would you use the, the golden timeline that's like the gold the that's like the the uh, the antidote to yeah. the its polarized opposite timeline the you know the <clears throat> the, the the pharaoh parasite um satanistic demonic mm. timeline you know like mm-hmm. yeah trump does trump does connect also to hitler also if you look at that's an interesting little re- relationship there there's a lot of connections right. between trump and hitler and interestingly hitler the story we have of hitler would be the same story we'd have of trump if they had written about trump as the victors like you can yes. so see Right, how they were yeah. positioning the stories and the media and the history on Trump, mm. you know, is so similar to the way they did it with Hitler. Well, and in re- uh, and in reality, Hitler was um, a unifier. Like uh, people yes. loved him. He fixed Germany yeah. after World War One. He rebuilt it. He got it to the yeah. economy within like just like Trump. Or something just like Trump. Mm. All right. So Genghis Khan disappears and returns as Hitler. Or as Tesla. Oh. Or as Hitler. As Hitler. Jeez. Crikey. And Hitler tried to Disney. Hitler tried to do what Trump's trying to do now. But he, yes. he didn't have yes. enough charge. I, he, I, I, I agree with that. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think from everything that I've learned, 
it is whatever you've been told, you've got to flip it. Yeah, yeah. It's all inverted. Yeah. And and so if someone has been put out there to be the bad guy, that then they're not. They're not. Well, look what um, we've been in the last couple of years, like like with all the pro- the propaganda and that, and oh my god, you know, Trumps are this and that and this and that and all this stuff. Mm. A lot of people believed it and went crazy over it, and mm. now it's all coming out in the last literally the last couple of weeks that it's all crap and it's all been disproven. Mm. That's. That's the story. I mean, if yeah, like we've got to be careful. But you know, if anyone wants to look into the H man, there's a much different story out there than mm-hmm. the one we're given. And of course, that's all tied into the the J people and the six million. Yeah, but yeah, that we're not still, allowed to talk about. Says, mm. we're, we're not allowed to talk about still today, and they're still holding mm. over us. Mm. So the J people would be linked to Moses. Is that correct? Well, the the sort the of problem with the J people is there's not just one of them. There's there's at least two, probably three different groups. Like there's mm. Ashkenazis, there's you know mm. Zionisms in there, and then I mean, but they tell us in the Old Testament that the Hebrews, yeah, basically became mm. the original J people. So mm. it's interesting, though, isn't it, that Hitler, like you know, it may have been true that he was at war against the Jewish people. That may be true. And Trump may also about to do the same thing because if he's mm. about to take down the the mm. whole, like, media celebrities, or it's like he's mm. taking down the Jewish people again. Yeah. You're it's attacking. interesting, yeah. isn't it? That's who you're attacking. Yeah. So it's interesting people, like, trying to decipher this. But all right, to summarise again, Genghis Khan's father potentially Jesus Christ superstar, potentially that was like at the at the pinnacle of the end of the thousand-year reign um, and we have the reset moment and then we've suddenly got um, this, I guess, uh, Paris, some, that, all right, we, we don't have a clear story about the, the reset moment that we have entered into yet, do we? We, we don't know how it happened completely and we don't know how we came into the picture completely. We just know suddenly people and children appeared. And mm. here we are, like 200 mm. years later, right? That's what we know. Here we are 200 years later. Um, but Hitler emerges and goes to war against the, um, the, crown. the ones in charge. He goes crown. to war yeah. against the ones in charge. The bloodline, yeah. basically, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and of course, Rothschild backed financially backed the first world war and the second world war so he is going up against the 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 the, the, the main Brown. bloodline family yeah ab- absolutely and so he, he's up against them and of course he was he, he was a, the illegitimate son of solomon rothschild um his mother clara was a maid working for solomon rothschild and uh, that's who um that that's he got her pregnant and uh, he was adopted by um i think it's eloise hitler um uh, he was adopted adolf was adopted um so i often wonder if um he had this built-in resentment for them that stemmed back to perhaps being told or finding out uh who his real father was mm. yeah and being ostracized and given yeah and having to live in poverty and all this kind of stuff yeah yeah it's yeah. interesting that um that hitler and the jew conversation is a German one and um, Trump's father was German. Yeah. Like his actual name is Grumpf, like Trump Grumpf. Yeah. It's like got a K in it. It's German. Oh, so yeah. we've even got the same location. And then, oh. you know, you've got the, their entire empire bombed to smithereens, like yeah. hardcore destroyed. So they yeah. didn't have enough charge. They didn't have enough charge to, to oh, win oh. then. Yeah. And then we have, when does Tesla come into the picture? Tesla, what years were Tesla? Late 1800s. Yeah. Yeah. And then he died. When, when did he die? The 40s, wasn't it? Like 39. 39. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't know about Tesla being an actual, I'm not sure Tesla was a man. I, I don't know. I mean, are you sure, Guy, that Tesla existed? I've asked people that, and uh, in my book, I've actually asked the same question. 
I don't know if he ever existed. Um, a little bit like Napoleon. I don't know if he ever existed. I, I, I because I think they give a name to something. They they give a name, and, and then it's someone they can blame. Um, it, it's someone they can dump a load of information onto and say, well, this person did all of this. Yeah, it's um, an explanation for all the stuff, all the technology. Yeah, all the time. So, artists and things, you know, one artist painted all these amazing things, and one absolutely all these, you know, like and one da architect. Da Vinci. One da Vinci. Oh, <laughs> crikey! Yeah, you can pick that one apart quite easily, can't you? With a lot of buildings, but um, look, it's like the Leonardo da Vinci. It transpires that da Vinci was actually a family. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and they were a group of people that were creating all of this stuff. And we've decided it's just one person because it fits yeah. a narrative. So with, exactly. with Napoleon, if you look at his backstory, um, he comes from nowhere. And um, although privately educated, he comes from nowhere to become quite a high ranking officer. And then he takes a break and writes romantic novels. <clears throat> and then he's asked to come back into the, the army and he agrees to do so only if he's given the highest possible position. And then five minutes later, he's winning all of these wars with hardly any soldiers uh, in comparison to the, the people he's fighting. You know, he really is, um, mm. in on paper, it doesn't look possible to achieve what he, he did. And then at the end of it, he ends up running and ruling France and introduces all of these things. And I think you're giving one person a hell of a lot of credit and all this before he's 30. Mm. I mean, come on, it, that's a stretch, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Totally. Concurred. Yeah, totally. Concurred. It's, it's just a way and to in, play in all the different battles and all the conquers, which was an yeah. up, or a big, you know, whatever, right, group of people that were trying to wipe out and take over Yeah. the whatever, the new world or the old world or, yeah. And, like, uh, don't – sorry, go, go. I was just going to say that um, in, in Europe, the Comet of 1811, which appeared to do a lot of damage throughout the whole of Europe, and obviously in America as well, they experienced the same comet. I think about 200 meteorites broke off from this comet and, and hit key strategic <laughs> locations. But they called it in Europe Napoleon's Comet. Now, to me, I see 200, not meteorites, but 200 um, bombs or yeah. direct energy weapons of some description. That's what I think that was. Let's just call it Napoleon's Comet. So I think actually that, that it, this was the parasites, if you like, um, wiping out as much as they could. And, um, and if we are in a firmament, uh, or if we're not in a firmament, but it is the Van Allen belt of radiation, how does a meteorite or a comet enter our atmosphere without breaking up? before no. it hits exactly. this particular no. field. And what are these craters, you know, asteroid craters yeah. under the, the, the Earth, with, but but they've got no meteors or anything in them, right? Mm. No meat, Campbell. There's no meat to no them. Meat. No <laughs> yeah. meat to them. No meatballs. Mm. No and meat and let, let's oh, not forget, let's <laughs> not forget that Hitler ended up being the one that got obsessed with the Vril. And the yes, one that did. like yeah. introduced all the flying craft, and the one yeah. that seemed to have some, Foo Fighters. you know, yeah, a whole other thing going on. His true agenda yeah. going on. And so, Tanya, Schwabland, like everything, man. Yeah, it, it, Antarctica, absolutely obsessed, and they they say that there was a base there. Exactly. They did discover after the Second World War. They and then, discovered. And there's still stories of did he start a breakaway civilization? Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. It's true. And they have yeah. linked Hitler to Walt Disney, which is um, maybe not mm -hmm. the truth, but it did seem to fit, but it doesn't make mm. sense to this timeline theory. So Tesla, when did Tesla die? What year? Around 38, 39. 39. And, that, and that's when sort of that we're, that was the end of Second World War, around that? No, was that the around? start. That was, that was 45. The start. Yeah. 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 Right. Interesting. Yeah. And and up until how long was Hitler like a well-known and loved character before oh, the war the started? Like yeah. four, four years before the war started? Oh, sorry. I beg your pardon. Tesla was uh, 43. Sorry. Oh, I was 43. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I've been so, up since half past five this morning because oh, obviously you, over guys. here, yeah, so so we're a little bit behind you. Yeah. So, WW2 ended that he died. Tesla, Tesla, the man that we're not sure is real, dies around the end of the Second World War when Hitler mm -hmm. dies. 
Mm -hmm. right and no one really can confirm that that's an interesting coincidence at the same time we've got like trump's uncle coming in and getting tesla's work around that time Mm -hmm. which shouldn't have existed if the stories are correct because they should have been in his brain so i mean that's all a lot of quinky dinkies there isn't it the old quinky dinkies are going off right now well yeah i mean you know like especially with the the real connection and you know the Mm -hmm. The bell and the, the UFOs, man, that's yeah. high tech. Mm. Right? Like, is that straight out of Tartaria? The what, Campbell? What did you say? The bells? Uh, yeah, the, the first UFO thing. What was it called? Oh, yeah. The yeah. The, the oh, and the Zeppelins. Were, weren't the Zeppelin, like the air right? buses yeah. all yeah, yeah. Ger- German. massive in German, right? Yeah. 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 Zeppelin's a German word. Yeah. And right. I and I believe that that the that 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 was that that was per they were sabotaged that was purposely done to yeah, end yeah, this free sure. travel yeah no, and, and I think I can speak mm-hmm. on behalf of the whole world and fuck you for that one because that yeah. was yeah. just fucking annoying because mm. we would have loved that and the airports now I can't even talk when I'm in an airport no, no, the the, the ludicrous nature and the enslaved and obey nature of airports is just I. Everyone uh, jumps into line there. I know. I can can't uh, stand it. Uh, so, uh, all right. So Hitler and Hitler could have been, could have been the bloodline of Genghis Khan, which could have been uh-huh. the child of Jesus Christ superstar. Oh, Christians, are you ready for that link? And <laughs> could have morphed into um, a, a Trump time, a Trump bloodline. That they, they all of that seems to be a bloodline to me. Then, I've always felt like they're all connected somehow. I just haven't brought Genghis Khan into the mix. So, Guy, mm, thank you mm. for that. That's like <laughs> fucking excellent. Yeah. I mean, what? there's so many coincidences of Trump and his current process and mm-hmm. Hitler's process and Genghis Khan's process. I think he would. Mm. And isn't it interesting yeah. that his, he was rumoured to be killed in China? That's mm. interesting. Mm. I mean, that's another coincidence. China. <laughs> and where was China? Isn't it interesting also that China didn't play? I mean, am I wrong? China did not play a part in World War One or Two, or am I wrong? Um, no. I mean, I think it, where it, were it, fucking it China? But they were. They were always kind of been sort of cut off a bit, haven't they? We yeah. considered China to be a yeah. powerhouse of like yeah. and the most modern threat and the I mean, winner of the badass them, game. They call them world wars, but they weren't. It, it was, it was no. like, you know, like a little bit of very Europe. localized, really, it was, weren't they? Yeah, it, it was just the happen. bombing. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was the bombing of Europe, wasn't it? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And then Japan. The British Empire destroying what was left of uh, of Tartaria, I believe. <laughs> I'm about to smoke inside and I'm going to get in trouble, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. <laughs> might get in trouble. You in do a minute. it. You be a little. You might rebel, get in you. trouble. I mean, geez, you just linked buddy Genghis Khan to Jesus to, to the H man. So <laughs> I think I did that actually. I just sort of like went with the ride. So, all right. So I think if we, if we actually, okay. So here we are today. Here we are today. So how from today's reality and where we are, where we stand with what's happening right now. If we're right, if there's a, a link here, then will we be seeing the same sort of play out? Like no one knows how Genghis Khan died but could have been fighting China. No one knows how Hitler died or if he died, right? Mm. No one knows. We haven't got any no, no, evidence and, and of any of that. Maybe he took, he took off to Venezuela, South America. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've heard that. I've heard Close that. To but the as well. Have you heard the um, the theory that um, he had uh, he had some children that he had some daughters and one of them's Angela Merkel, yeah. the other okay. one, okay. Yeah, yeah, and obviously one of them had uh, so he's they this same podcast that I've seen floating around suggests that his grandson was Barack Obama. Okay, yeah, yes, I've I've heard all of that too. So, I, mean, I, mean, my now, I saw it on BitChute, but you have to type in. Um, I had to type in to find it, Barry Hitler. Oh, wow! I had to type that in to find it on BitChute, and then up comes 
and it and it's showing a leaked FBI document. No, I don't know whether or not any of this is true, but I, I did find it quite interesting. But it does say that he died in a car accident in South America, and Hitler, came, Hitler. yeah, and and did came, yeah, I've, came yeah. over. And yeah. that the body was his butler, which was also his uh, his body double, and he had yeah, several. But, but by now, by these stories, the the parasites are writing the history, right? Mm. By now, by once oh, we absolutely. get to these sorts of these sorts absolutely. of theories, it's being yeah. written by them. Yep, mm. yep. I don't know. There's something. Yeah, I'm. I feel very. I feel instinctively like this is a timeline that is oh. accurate, more accurate than mm. we've had before. Mm. It makes sense to me. I mean, that's going to fuck a lot of people's heads up, isn't it? <laughs> that yeah. like Trump and yeah. Hitler and Jesus are like <laughs> essentially the the, yeah. the 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 tri- the triad, the the Holy Father, the Son, Holy and the Trinity. Holy Ghost, the Holy Trinity. Oh. Oh, Jesus, Three. Genghis Three. Khan. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Three is the magic number, and I think that when you look at you, you know Yeshua, meaning the number nine. Um, that you've got three by the power of, you know, three. Yeah, yeah, three squared cubes. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, so I, I, I think that that, that that is key, isn't it? And we're, we're being told that three is the magic number and everything's to do with three. Um, so, I, I yeah, I, I, I do think that. I do think that there, there's something there. But it takes, um, well, you would need to get in the Vatican bloody vaults or the Smithsonian's warehouse or one of them to to really crack this stuff mm. um and i think that the, the the problem is that they keep firing all of this crap at us i mean like the p diddy stuff's come back out hasn't it as you mentioned earlier on mm. and i think we're constantly being misdirected or redirected to look at other conspiracies Highly. yeah it's and i think that that's joe mm. rogan's job i think the job of joe rogan for example is to put something out there for you to go and investigate so you're not looking yeah where you should be i mean if we follow the if we follow this timeline and if it's a repeated timeline then the same thing will happen they yeah. um, he will imp- he will fix the economy he will mm-hmm. which hitler did which genghis khan did and then he will go to war which genghis mm-hmm. khan did and hitler did and trump will mm. do like mm. th- that's and then we it ushers in a new era mm. like that's the, that's the cycle of that timeline yeah Pretty much. And if we are in Satan's little season now, and in theory, if the resets, if the great resets are every 250 years and the last one was, um, was 1776, then we are right now um, coming towards the end of Satan's little season. So 2026 should usher in um, another period of 1,000 years of peace, balance, higher, higher vibration and frequency, love, um, so maybe we are just, um, a f- you know, really a few okay, months so, away from that. So it's interesting that Tesla's linked to um, free energy and mm. we've got Tesla representing that in Trump's administration. And if you mm. return to free energy, like you close down the grid of the demons, you close mm. down their their grid, their, their interface, it gets oh, shut pretty- down. So, yeah. like, it's interesting that that free energy, which was mm. what was running Germany and mm. what w- was running Genghis yeah. Khan's empire, is represented here today with Tesla in Trump's administration. If anyone's going to usher in a shift in technology to bring us to, like, the ether again, then, like, these are the players, right? That yeah. we, that the rep- well, right? Ether energy yes. is literally real. And the real and Hitler and the yeah. real and the, the real energy blah, blah, blah. and the looking uh-huh. glass and the quantum mm. computers and the... the, mm. the so we, we're literally seeing the same player. And let's not forget that Ju- Jesus was famous for being killed by the Jews. And then German was, uh, Hitler was famous for yeah, killing the Jews. The yeah. And yeah. and now we've got Trump who's going to literally bring down the Jews, you know, yeah. and is hated by the Jews as well. So that's all yeah. very fucking coinky dinky, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit like somebody's decided to finish off something that's their... Yeah, 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 their ancestors were able to yeah, pull yeah. off An ancestral kind of. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish my father, my uncle, my <laughs> whatever's work, or me. Last time I had a go, it didn't quite work out. I'm having another shot at it now. Yeah, yeah, it is like that, isn't it? It's very much like that, and and very key people, very you know, world famous people, oh. people that will 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 never be forgotten. 
um, with one goal, goal, one shared common goal. I find that and look, strange. We've got to put Nelson Mandela in there because of the Mandela effect. Like Nelson Mandela <laughs> is the is the representative figurehead of the Mandela effect. It's named after him. Named after That's Kuinkadinki. He, he unified South Africa. He did kind of mm. the same job for South Africa. Yes, mm. yes, exactly. And South Africa is meant to be the cloning um, oh, motherland yeah. oh, of the human yeah. race. Yeah. yeah. Fucking bang, 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 people. This is yeah. fascinating. <laughs> yeah. God, I need mean, like a chart on the yeah. wall. Like That's a, right, like serial killers thing. with like bits yeah, of string. And, and, yeah. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, all right, jeez. Oh, how are wow. your mind going out there, people? Your brain's coming out your ears yet? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's just like a million comments right now of people like lining up things we haven't even thought about. But like what a fascinating place to start thinking about this. Like, mm. I mean, if we if, is there anyone else that you would link through like anything weird to do with time? Is there any any other well, uh... figures? Who, who wrote the time machine at Orson Welles? Um, Jules Verne. Yeah, Jules Verne. He, he, yeah. he brought the whole concept of time travel in. Yeah. What's his bloodline? I don't know. Well, Let's he was look. in that same period, you know, sort of late 1800s. He was one of the writers that oh. kind of gave us the new paradigm and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, Nemo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, which means, of course, nothing. It means it yeah. means nothing, doesn't it? Captain, yeah, Nemo, yeah, Nemo, yeah, the, yeah, the Nautilus. Um, I mean, they called him the first science fiction writer too. Mm. But I mean, time, yeah. Let us know, guys, any links you've got. But I'm sure there's other ones out there. But I mean, mm. but it, there's not many, right? There's not many players in this game that that we that are up in the front realm, really, is there? Mm. No, it's more cast. And it's interesting how how that, that um, for example, Vern, he, his books, or he started writing all of this stuff after the reset. So is this somebody who has well, found or been shown yeah. Tartarian yeah. tech? Exactly. Or did he write them at all? Or was he just yeah, yeah. describing what he found? Or Yeah. Because, yeah, I know, I agree. It was, it was so maybe like... they're not stories. No. So... Jules Jules Burns bloodline is French. <clears throat> Just so you know. Yeah. French. French. Mm. Yep. Um and yeah, he was it's I mean, it's 1828. Well, they do say there's there's stories that that Jesus actually had children and they were born in France. Yes. Yes. Mary Magdalene, yeah. Yes. Yeah, came to the south of yes, France. Yes, yeah, yes, the Holy Grail escaped. Mm. The Holy Grail travelled to Europe, and of course, Grail's Latin for blood, isn't it? Um, so it is the Holy Blood travelling to blood Europe. Blood. Yeah. All right. Well, this is yeah. fascinating because I think we've actually like pieced together the um, the polarized other bloodline, the the other the the uh, the White Hats. We've just pieced oh. together the bloodline of the White Hats. Oh. Well, that's fucking cool. That is. <laughs> 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 so, is any anything in um any any other comments on that guy from the perspective of your book? No, no, that they, they are the two questions that I asked um in there that um and that that I was shot down for the most I think when I've spoke about this on 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 different podcasts. One is, did you. Napoleon actually exist? And the second is, did Nikola Tesla actually exist? Yeah. And they're they're the two questions I have. But the 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 and and I would love somebody to, as I said earlier on, to to show me some video footage mm. of Tesla. Um, Napoleon, I'm not obviously that's not that's going to be a little bit harder to get yeah. anything yeah. like that of him. But <laughs> um, but really, but what proof I would like, video. yeah, that, that's books. But that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's all there out. is. Yeah. And um, but no, that that they are the two things that I am struggling in my own mind to um, get an answer to. Neither of them sit comfortably with me. Hmm. I, I I cannot believe categorically that either of those people existed. And um, yeah, the one to throw out there, of course, is what we've just been talking about. 
is it at all possible that Genghis Khan's father was Jesus? Yeah, is that possible? Can, it yes, ties yes, in with yes. absolutely everything. Yes. Um, so uh, they're, they're the things, they're, they are the three things that I, I, I'm putting out there, I think. Yep. Fucking oath, so, man. I mean, definitely. Keep going because you'll be surprised what what pops up when you just keep, mm. keep focusing on the path. And as far as trolls, I mean, they're every you just ignore them. But, like, I find it interesting because I, I went through the same thing, you know, like four years ago people were, you know, trolling me and calling me crazy and all this stuff. Mm. Now I look out on the internet and everyone's saying what I was saying four years ago. Now it's yeah. a mainstream. Yeah. Right? Instead of part that I thing, like first you'll be crazy, then what is it, then something, and then people agree with you, then you'll be proven right kind of thing. So this yeah. is, let's yeah, not forget. Is the way to go forward. Yes, and let's not forget your intuition, like your psychic abilities are grounded in the study of what's obvious. Like yeah. the thing that has caused the human race psychic ability to decline to nothing is because we we are living with such deception where everything's inverted. So we're not mm -hmm. taught to study what is obvious. And if we no. just looked at what was obvious, the truth would reveal itself. It can't be hidden from us, right? No. And what and so there's so many things that are just obvious here. And one of the things about today's society that is obvious to all of us is that there is actors playing actors and politicians. Yeah. There are nameless characters yeah. that we don't know who are playing the roles of several people simultaneously. So mm. if you were to like write them into history, they wouldn't even exist as real people. Like their mm. whole, all their stories are just fabricated, fake identities, mm. and that may just be one unknown being that's like playing like 20 of the most famous people we know, which means yeah. that if we're trying to like that same concept is part of our reality would go through history also. I mean, that's just obvious. Yeah, like yeah, if they're is. doing it now, that's an age old tactic. And we're right? in this strange place where intelligence, you know, the people that we think are intelligent are really just the ones who can repeat the best. Yes. But which is what yeah. school is. That's and that exactly is the basis right. of they're just school. Repeating, the books, repeating what's on TV. Yeah. Oh, but they just repeat yeah. it. Yeah. Rope learning. Yeah. No to get it. Yeah. Yep. It's all rope learning. That's how you succeed at school and yeah. all of the education system. It's all well, look just at repeating. The, the dunce's hats. I mean, that that if you look at the dunce's hat, the comb, I mean, uh, what that is, where that comes from, is actually the, the hat of a wizard. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly um, right. And originally they say that the Tartarians used to wear copper pointed hats. Yes. And they were receiving the correct frequency and energy through that, and it was going straight into their into their brain, into their you know, and hitting the pineal pineal gland. Um, and and I think that what they've done is that that they've anybody who thinks outside the box or questions any form of narrative, once they used to stick a little cone pointy hat on you and stick you in the corner of the room and now you're just kicked out of the classroom um or or, or, or expelled for not conforming and um and i think that 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 is that is the problem um i think it was henry ford who said give them just enough education to come and work for me um, yeah, yeah and rockefeller said i don't want rockefeller nation, yeah like of intelligent or people of thinkers i want a nation no um, and, and and then they they totally use that against us. Like I said, it's all inverted, right? Because first thing they mm. teach in school is spelling, how to spell. And yeah, Hebrew bangles. Is the media, right? They used to make wizards' wands were made out of the wood from the holly tree. Mm. So now we have holly, right? And, and we oh, have. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Crowd. There's someone at my door banging away at my door. I'm really sorry. Banging away. That's all right. <laughs> Jeez, Louise, bang it away. Anyway, so yeah, guys, what do you think? I mean, we well, I guess we're getting towards the, the point. Oh, this has been a super long show. Super long. We probably need to wrap it up. We'll wrap it up uh, when when Guy gets back. But leave us comments. Um, we didn't go uh, we didn't show this way. We never do, but but um, yeah, some interesting connections, and we'd love to hear. You know, if you guys have got any more, because I'm definitely going to do some some diving on this because this is literally what's playing out in front of us right now. Right. I'm so now. sorry about that. I had no, someone, no, the, the postman literally banging my door down. God, how rude! Bloody postman! What is it? Is it a photo of Tesla? Is it? Is it? <laughs> it's a it's a package from Amazon. Oh. <laughs> no idea what it is. Oh, go and open it, guy. Maybe it's, so you it never know there. with yeah. these coincidences. Maybe <laughs> a time machine component. <laughs> All right. So, um, can you see that? 
you guys? Yes, I've lost can. the screen. That's what All right. Kids is the book. So listen, listen, people of the Tartarian Australian realm, like when people sit down and write these books out, I can tell you now, these are the Christmas presents you want to be putting out there in the world. Like support Guy's work, go and buy his book and like, um, go and give it to every single person who's got all these questions for you that you're sick of talking about. Go and give him, go and give them Guy's book. I'm really excited to promote your work, Guy, and I really, I just, I love it when people within our community um, have the sovereignty and the focus to actually create a product. It takes a lot of fucking time and balls to keep your mind like, I mean, to be able to put this whole storyline into a book, that's a feat, man. And I congratulate you for that because that takes that takes intelligence, it takes focus, it takes creativity, and it takes a stubborn disposition. And they are all qualities that I highly admire in the human race. And when they actually uh, get um, integrated to a, a point of creation, so something is produced from the ether, I just love that. And I I will be buying your book. I will be buying it and spreading it around. And um, I'm really excited to, you know, encourage our community yeah. to do exactly the same. We'll like, put a link below in the description, guys, so you can you can go and grab it. And it's just it's just so powerful and amazing for us as a community to get behind any points of creation any points of creation that we can support and say yes to by spending thirty dollars or what is the price of the book guy i don't know what it is in in uh in australian dollars but the, the hardback is um 19.99 and the paperback's 12.99 and so that's about just under 40 dollars and what's the other one 20 27 or so it's right so Good price, not expensive, and of course, this is how we we write, rewrite the story, guys. You know, this is what we need, yeah. right? We yeah. need books out there that yeah. aren't just a bloody repeated story that they keep throwing at us. This mm. is new information, so definitely, you know what? And even if copies. give them all away. Yes, that's right. Like, buy one of these books for your family and friends this Christmas. Um, and as we know, interestingly, on the topic of Christmas, that also emerged during the orphans, this whole concept of families sitting yeah. together and bonding yeah. and, and, and loving each other. Remember, they cancelled yep. Christmas. Yep, that's Trump right. So. Back. It's just like it's such a it's such a story uh, such an analogy and storyline for this sort of like how do we teach families to be a family? How do we mm. teach yeah. humanity to come together and be a family? Let's give them this idea of Christmas Ritual. and let's by the way make lots of money selling Coca Cola at the yeah, same Coca time. But, you know, <laughs> and 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 what was it and in heroin or cocaine? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> But like, yeah, I mean, for me, you know, you know, who cares if the people you buy the book for don't read it? What you're actually doing by putting it on their coffee table is sending them subliminals, my yeah. friends. Yeah. You're sending them little codes because they might not read it, but their kids might read it. Oh, wow. They might not read it, but their neighbor might see it. They might not read it, yeah. but, you know, the grandchildren might pick it up. So, yeah. you know, for all these reasons, like getting one of these books into houses around the world, I love, 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 love that idea. Totally. And um, <clears throat> I think, I mean, this has been a very long show, guys, and it's like flown by and we have come up with a really, I think that's a, so, such a fascinating fucking theory. I can't wait to like, I think we're going to have to come back to this guy. I think no, we're going to have yeah. to give I'd love to. I'd love to. Like, we'll love to. Yeah. And, and come back. But that'll be, I'm definitely for that. Yeah. yeah. All right. And be so, interesting to see what sort of comments you get from this, because there might be people who, 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 it clicks, and there'll of course be people who, without researching it or thinking about it, will immediately condemn it. Mm. Uh, but, but I think that for some people, they'll think, "Do you know what? That makes sense. I've been wondering that myself." I think we'll get some uh, good stuff. Like we've, we've sort of, I, th I think all the people who get triggered are just over, over us now because we just trigger them too often, and they think we're crazy. Uh, so we're left with the, the thinkers and the imagination people. So I think we'll yeah. get some good feedback. Yeah, it's yeah. But, um, and it means like, because me, I've always that whole shroud of Christ, the shroud of Christ, the like mm. the, the the material they've got with this. What the fuck is yeah. that? What know, the fuck I is know. that? And, you know, from this perspective, it would totally um, back me up on this one that if Jesus existed as an entity, he was a giant. 
He didn't oh, fit absolutely. into a little friggin' little piece of cloth the size of us no. today. And he didn't come wobbling out of a cave the, the size of, you know, like a little doorway. Nah. Mm. He was like, he was a Tartarian. He was yeah. big, man. Giant, yeah. giant big. Yeah. Absolutely. It, totally agree. Yeah. And isn't it interesting that, like, they don't have Jesus' buddy, they don't have Genghis Khan's buddy, they don't have Hitler's mm. buddy, like, all these big, giant, maybe bodies, they don't have any, they don't have them. Mm. They're gone. They're just, just yeah. what happened? We don't know. They're yeah. gone. Mm. Sorry, people. No, no. We can tell you everything else you don't want to know, but but the good stuff, we, we just don't know. Here's a book. No, we don't know any of that. Read this. It's true. <laughs> yeah. So, to take my our mind, word for it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> So the underground, this this would lead maybe to a, another conversation um, between the three of us because the underground, there seems to be, um, you've got this reptilian reptilian side of it, um, which seems to be what mm -hmm. is obvious about that. Well, it's very linked to this parasitic, right. um, negatively right. charged agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Reptilian and parasite connection, right? That's yeah. right. But then you've got this real energy, advanced civilization that is represented more by that Palladian vibe, that Nordic vibe, yes. like that. Yeah, yeah so the Ar Ar Aryan vibe. The Aryan race or the Tartarians. Tartarian. The Tartarian race, right? Mm. So yeah. you've got, and so as above, so below, like mm. this whole world is playing up um, on the surface as it is under the surface. Yeah. And that's going to be a very interesting thing. So watch that space. Watch the space, literally, um, play on words there, because as they direct our attention up to space, watch the space. Yeah, exactly. If they say look up, look down. Yeah. You can always do the opposite. Always. Always do the opposite. Always, yeah. If you want to see UFOs, yeah, you need to be looking down, watching for them come out of the water. or Yeah, if you want to see an astronaut, nothing. you've got to be looking down. Well, Yeah, exactly. there's nothing up there. Astronaut. I don't think there's anything up there. No. But, I mean, and even if there is, how, how can you even in space? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh. Now, like, I might, the last topic I mean, on the Cabbage Patch Babies, I wanted to say this earlier. It's interesting that the cabbage, the introduction of the babies are associated with cabbages, which uh, is associated with vegetables and being grown on mass, which is the first time maybe we ate. Uh, so there's a there is an interesting link between the cabbage, the literal, the vegetable mm. baby. And yes. the human being having to start to consume food, oh, and um, this yeah. mix between vegetables and suddenly there's little baby meaty little babies being grown with vegetables, and suddenly we're eating meat and vegetables. Just mm. saying, people, the mm. standard meal of the human race, mm. the old meat and three veggies. Mm. Like, uh. um, isn't that interesting and weird if we think about it as little babies in cabbages? Just saying, yeah. I love of course, the, the the German sauerkraut. Yeah. The German and, um, sauerkraut. There's a in my book. There's a photograph of it and a little bit of information about um, a a statue of a cabbage with a baby inside it outside a maternity hospital in Tomsk. What? And it's called Im Anna. I M Anna. A N N A. Im Anna, which um, is the um from the Enki and Enlil's what sister? Uh -huh. Anna? Is yeah, that that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Cloning, oh, yeah. growing children, oh, yeah. really and it's outside. Beautiful. It's in Tomsk, yeah. And that's just so interesting because the word manna is meant to be the food of the gods. Manna, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then mind your manners, mind your manners. Manna, yeah. All right. Well, okay. Stop. Yeah, We've got to stop now because this there. is like could go on. <laughs> but imagine if we were all like sitting here for another eight hours. Imagine where we'd end up. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Dark computer, side of the moon, and probably. Around, and, around a fire and, and talk all night. I think. Yes, guy. Yeah. We're coming to the UK um, next September for a tour. So we'll expect you to be on that one with us. I'd love to. Back I'd love oath, to. That, that is fantastic. Please. Yes, please. All please. right. Yeah, awesome. We're gathering them. Excellent. Yeah, that would be brilliant. Um, yeah. So what I'm proposing is that this is such a fascinating um, theory that what we should do now is go away for the week and just see where this theory lands and see what comes mm. up in our thoughts and um, in the comments, see what people have commented and where yeah. what, what is gifted. Like the community needs to wire and fire on this topic for a while, like give it some connectivity. And um, I, I propose if we've got some more information by this time next week, 
we should come together again because yeah. I think um, if we've if there's content there yeah, yeah. beyond what we've come up with tonight, let's keep it rolling. I think it's absolutely absolutely worthwhile and very timely. You know, like we're literally watching this kind of stuff play out in front of us at, at right. Yeah. Now. So. Yeah, and rapidly approaching Christ Mass. So, ah, yes, yes. The oh my God, do you think that? Do you think um, with the Christians surrounding Trump, 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 um, Trump? That's his original name, Trump. In this manner, do you think there's any possibility that the world will know that? He, do you think he will ever acknowledge that Genghis Khan was Jesus Christ's superstar's <laughs> child? Oh because, wow! Because <laughs> well, man, imagine that. Like fucking hell, that would blow a few circuits, wouldn't it? Yeah, crikey. Yeah. Wow. That would be interesting. Yeah. I could be, probably catch up to us, I think. But but yeah, mm. those man, the, the last couple of weeks of stuff that's happened, I, I, anything's up. Anything's there. possible. Yeah, for sure. Well, if we were to try to, if we were to like now look at the, at Hitler's process and Genghis Khan's process and how that life cycle played <laughs> out, yeah, then we would pretty happen. much, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. All right. All right. Okay. We've got, okay. Guy, Good. total pleasure. Uh, yes. Consider thank you to be um, a new friend you. and thank, thank you, you for gifting us with your time and love pleasure. it. And I hope that the community gets behind supporting your book. Fantastic. Yeah, and yes, um, description, guys, go grab it. Absolutely. A hundred percent. And um, like great show, everyone loved it, loved it, loved it. And here's to a weird and wacky world unfolding right before our eyes. And who knows what will happen in the next seven days. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Thanks for joining us, people. Thank you, Guy. It's been amazing. And uh, we'll be back next week and probably for part two. Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> let's do it let's fucking do part two let's see how far we can push it all right it's a challenge it's on we're doing part two we're going to see how far we can take this theory okay all right leave your comments and we'll be back all right jeez and we thought it'd be about the orphans (laughs) i know right (laughs) we're gonna have to buy the book to learn about the book (laughs) honestly guy if you had written to me and said i think genghis khan's jesus christ superstar's child i would have been like i love this guy we're in let's go (laughs) let's fucking go man that's the title of your next book it's got to be somewhere there (laughs) okay okay you're on (laughs) all right everyone have a beautiful week an amazing week and um we'll see you for tartaria australia next friday all right stay awesome guys see ya bye Bye, everyone.